All right, all right, all right. Welcome in, everybody, to episode number eight of the podcast featuring my man, Omis Jones. How you feeling, my man? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. We also got our producer station in the house, Cassius. How we living? Yo, what's good? What's good? What's going on with my peoples? Hey, we got OJ on the boards once again. What's good, OJ? What's good? We got OJ back on the boards. Let's go. All day, all day. And we got quite the live audience today as well. How y'all doing out there? Appreciate y'all for coming in. Let's go. This is episode eight. We got a live um, audience and we got a TikTok audience. Shout out to the TikTokers tuning yep. in right now. TikTok live. If you guys tune into our Twitch, you'll hear all the sound effects and everything we're talking about. Exactly. So the TikTok's just kind of a little bit of the behind the scenes. It's right here uh, in the middle of all of us there. But if you guys are on TikTok and any of the other socials, go to twitch.tv slash the cinema junkies. Also live on YouTube if you want to see all the angles, all the sound effects, all the good stuff. But let's get right into it, my man. Yes, sir. Omis. Where are you from? Let the people know. And what do you what do you do? What's your day to day life like? My day to day and everything where I'm from. Uh, I'm from the Bay Area, Oakland, Berkeley, you know, like all the surrounding Bay cities. Area. Ba, 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 ba. Yep, Bay you Area. We may be we may be in LA, but there's a lot yeah, of Bay Area yeah, cats in, that have been on our show. You know, so. we travel. I, I've been coming to LA for a minute too, so I mean it's back and forth though. So. Definitely. But um I'm a cinematographer, photographer, all around creative, just you know. Like a good dude, cool dude. Everybody knows me as yeah. show person. Definitely, so. yeah. Uh, I definitely, I, I've, I've kind of seen you in and out throughout yeah. all the years, and uh, you've definitely just done so many amazing projects. You know, I've seen your photography work. Uh, I've definitely seen some of the other stuff you worked on as well. So, what, what, what's kind of your primary goal at this point? That you kind of done a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, like, yeah, literally, I like, touched on a, a bunch of stuff. So, like music videos, photography commercials being on a commercial so you know like it's a bunch of stuff that i've like been able to put my hands around and different uh like micro communities you know so like just been able to dabble and stuff but my like my ultimate goal is like to have like a space of my own where i could just house like a bunch of creatives and do all type of creative cool shit so when when you say how's a bunch of creatives are you talking about because i know you do the educational stuff yeah, yeah and i know you do the collaborative stuff and everything right. so when you say that are you talking about like all of that combined yeah all, you're, you're teaching people yeah. you got your crew there you guys are creating so it's all in-house yeah learning business and you know business te- uh, tactics all type of stuff just like creative um like you know it's just like anything that somebody has in mind that's like visually storytelling that to bring that up to life like pretty much in a whole like compound from like a creative aspect or yeah. from a business or both both yeah there you go. and like especially for like working with youth now i'm like trying to implement that more like resume building and having a, their own businesses llc's and stuff like it, you know it could get more technical but overall it's just actually having a space where they could come because you know so, they say if you build it they'll come so. yeah exactly yeah. i mean i think that's a lot of what is missing though too right because yeah. you go to film school and it's like you watch these films or even if like you as a creative you don't automatically think hey like i need to have these write-offs i yeah. need to invest in my equipment i need to know all these things about the business right. but if you're really going to excel yourself to the next level that's how you do it and yeah it's necessary no it's, it's very important i think that's where a lot of creatives get lost is not having the business aspect like on lock so i kind of grew up in that area area like out of high school um we had like a small uh like a I would say it's a small e-commerce, so we would buy like a bunch of stuff uh, off off sale, like um, from brands and stuff. So like a black skin will have like their old stuff, and we'll sell it to like college students. So that was like an early e-commerce, and then a bunch of them started coming and popping up. But like that was like my early intro to like being an entrepreneur. And then once I picked up a camera, it kind of like transferred to. But I was still wanted to be a creative because I was creating art at the same time. So I just had to combine those two and just become one like entity of myself, if that makes sense. I love it, man. I love it. Um, I believe we're going to go ahead and hold for a second. Uh, do you need to come up? Yeah. All right. Come on. Come on. No, no, you're all good. Sorry. We got a full house. Live. Full house yeah. in the building. Hey, hey say what's up to our boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, but that's amazing. So like, so you talk about the business and then like, how did you even get into the educational stuff? Because I know you currently teach, uh, I think it's eighth graders. Eighth grade, yeah. uh, so it's a school at Ascend. It's in Oakland, California. It's like right off of Fruitvale. So if you're familiar with that area, it's oh, like, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good area now. Like 
Uh, Oakland's changed a lot, so it's like not as dramatic as people like say or it is and stuff. You know, I grew up around it. I I never really was like hella exposed to it, but you know, you do see your run-ins or whatever. But it's like any other hood in America. <laughs> I mean, even, real. even out here in LA, or yeah. anywhere, I mean, there's always gonna be good pa- good parts and bad, bad parts. parts yeah. yeah, but um, back to the school is uh, yeah, I started a six week program with them, and uh, it it was like my first time actually like teaching students. I don't know how they would react to me, but it's like. I, I look like a kid, so like I dress like one, you know, like they're all coming in on my shoes and stuff. Like every every week I'll come with a new pair of shoes. So I was like a they think I'm a superstar, you know, like and I think that's cool. Yeah. Um, but like aside from that, it's just like teaching them like everyday life stuff or like something they could do outside of like, you know, the general like play sports or or have like of course have a good education or whatever, but there's other like side projects or things that they could do, hobbies, you know, that could turn into a career. I mean, and why only stop at one? Like, why, yeah, does, why, it, stop, why yeah. does it only have to be sports? Or why does it only have to be that? Yeah, like, why exactly. not do all of it? Because it's like, as a human, like, we have so many different parts of our brains that, yeah. we, that you know, we want to fulfill. So um, I think that's amazing. And I'm sure you get a lot of fulfillment out of that as well. Oh, yeah, right? for sure. I mean, like, even being myself, like, uh, just just being myself is cool because, like, I just know how to interact with them. And I understand their, like, that side of where they're at in their age, you know, so it's cool to connect with them and see how they react to me too. So do they kind of feed you though too? Because I know as we get older, we kind of lose the, that creative edge. So oh yeah. Do, that, do their... Yeah. That's like the biggest part of being around them is because I never wanted to forget having an imagination. And like, I feel like kids are, have the, the best imaginations, like the, from the littlest ones to, you know, where I'm at eighth grade now. And I think for them, they're trying to still explore their imagination, but also, again, like they have parents that are strict on, you know, it's a different time. So they're probably strict on like them imagining, imagining things like they'll probably say, like, stop daydreaming or something. But I think that's like a, a thing that should be not said to a kid because they should be imagining all the time because they're the future. And you want yeah. we want to know how our future is going to be in his, history as well. That's yeah. pretty much why I like do photography and capture as much history as possible that's what i pretty much see it as but in a creative way definitely cash you get some of that as well like you you get some creative juices flowing from your kids as well just how they see the world and how everything's kind of fresh and new to them or (laughs) you want my honest opinion (laughs) yeah Yeah, i I, I want to know my kids are crazy um but they i mean they, they, they inspire me to uh to like just go harder and i'm you know doing stuff for them but as far as stories, like I definitely get stories that I make up in my head from ex- actual experiences with my kids. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, is that is that where stand your ground came in? Because you're just like, put the iPad down. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> stand your ground. Ain't <laughs> <around> yet. <laughs> no, I know it, it hasn't been released yet. For the, for those of you guys who are wondering what that is, but it is awesome uh, motion control uh, things that we've done. If you guys have not checked out our motion control stuff, uh, we'll be getting to that in a little bit as well. But Let's talk about that as well, because you growing up photography yeah. to where the technology nowadays is just advancing exponentially at this yeah, point. Right. Sure. So do you do you encourage that? Like, for example, like, are you kind of more of like a purist where it's like, oh, it has to be shot on like film or this way or that way? You're like, oh, no, a picture on a phone is just as good. Oh, bro, like as, I've come from the trenches of everything. So like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm down with any lens, like anything that you could capture. Uh, story with I'm I'm down with like I started with an iPhone 4 like I know like straight from the trenches and just learning techniques and things that like I could take to the camera because I wasn't like ready to just you know most people are like oh I could get an expensive camera I could take good pictures I mean you can but like there's also a way to do it too like if you want it to be like appealing or timeless you know something like that like so I, I do I did a lot of just a hands on with my phone but also studying photographers as well like Gordon Parks is obviously like one of the most highlighted people or photographers, the most African, uh, most known African American photographer. So, like taking from him and his story, like being able to him shoot Muhammad Ali, like somebody like Muhammad Ali, you know, like I'm the same way. I can transfer it to an athlete, you know. I'm sure we'll get into that stuff too. But uh, taking those type of stories, and then also not even just the athlete, like being able to be in your community and show that as well in a not necessarily a beautiful light because it's not all nice, but like I try and make it to where it's like you have to stop and look at it, like you know the little thing. So, did you 
would you say you have a certain style to it as well? Because you said like not always the good things, et cetera. There's actually certain like artists and photographers that accentuate like yeah, the yeah. grunginess or accentuate like yeah, the yeah. kind of darkness to it. Do no, you, yeah, do you yeah, find I, yeah, that out? yeah. That's what I was, I was gonna say. Like, I do have like my own style and story. I, I think I've talked about that. Uh, it's pretty much like the same formula I've just been using, and it's just like a different place. So it's it's kind of like copy paste but not really because i'm somewhere else you know i'm like yeah. i never try and go to the same places twice and uh i always try and tell like just appealing stories to me that i just like to see or on my everyday that maybe the average person is not going to pay attention to or you know just out of the ordinary stuff and is that is that a, you feel that was a style that you were born with because of the way you kind of got into it or is that something that you chose to kind of go in that direction if that makes sense i think it was inherited honestly like really? my mom tells me like I mean, she's like, that's what kind of made me create memories. Like we have booklet, booklets of like pictures of my family and me and my brother, like growing up. So it's like a good memory thing to just remember. I don't, I, you know, it's kind of hard to tell how other families do it, but like, I, I love those memories. Like seeing my grandma, you know, like people pass on, they get older and they pass on and you're able to see those pictures like, oh, th these were great moments. So like yeah. she fulfilled her life or we fulfilled our lives through these moments and you could just look back at it. Like I literally just opened that book like yeah. yesterday too at my mom's crib. So it was like, you know, it's crazy just to see me as a baby. And then I actually put like my my daughter's picture next to me and I was like, oh dang, we got like actually like a twin. So yeah, that's amazing. Just yeah. the nostalgia and everything. Yeah, too. no, it's it's crazy. So yeah, I was gonna ask you, um, like when it comes to digital mm -hmm. versus film. Yeah. Like I have no preference. I honestly don't even want to be in the middle of that fight because it's like but I mean, like, even you just said, like, the nostalgic, physical, you know, yeah. of seeing the yeah. image versus looking through your phone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 like, I understand film. Like, film's timeless, you know, it's priceless, honestly. So, um, but digital is just like, we're in the age of that. So, you know, you don't want to kind of go back. Not saying that film's bad at all, you know. There's Let me ask you this. What would you want to be remembered as? Digital or film, or film, like, I mean, like overall, I wouldn't neither because I would want to be just remembered as a creative, like a uh, like he was overall good at whatever. Well, I think the question is not necessarily what you were good at or what you or, or, or just in, but like, like in example, general, like, just yeah, like in general. Film. Like, oh, what do you general, want to be remembered like when in general right now? Digital, like um, you know, just because we're living in that space, yeah. like NFTs are hella like a big thing, and I I launched like on NFTs, like trying those spaces. Uh, I I do want to like I think with film is like a specific story like you have to have something like already like envisioned that you want to get at and kind of age it I guess. You well, know? I'm more I mean I mean like for, in terms of photography, like yeah. do you want let's say your kids grand and grandkids do you want them looking at stuff on social media or do you want them? Oh no 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 on, no you know in yeah. a, a booklet that yeah. was passed down. I get what you're saying. Da, 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 you know? Yeah so. This is how I see it now, like uh, it's more so on like the digital side. It's like like it's current. It's more current. So like 2020 was like a current event where I was shooting a lot of stuff that probably we will never see ever again. You know, so I would want that to be in like a history book, if that makes sense. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or or I could do a table book. I've done a table book. So like things like that, like we could put in a memory. I, I think is. A little bit more efficient than film because film takes a long time. You know, you got kind of develop it and stuff. Do you find it easier to overshoot though? Because I know, like, oh yeah, yeah, I've, I've got millions of images. And like, you're just like, man. But like, we're when you're shooting like on a Polaroid, for example, you know, you got you know, yeah, you got, eighteen yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so many exposures. Th maybe the value of film is a little bit more expensive than digital because it's like all on hard drives and you know, it's just like we can, it's like a f floating. It, it's getting cheaper by the yeah, day yeah, and just like, memory and everything yeah yeah so the film is definitely like the process and you know expensiveness of it but you're using old technology but you know you're still getting the, the perks of having a good looking image so i think that's kind of the verses of it it's, su it's such a hard topic yeah. to go back and forth it's like, it's like i know i know some yeah. i know some great film photographers and i know some great Digital photography. At the end of the day, it's art. It's like, yeah. do you draw with uh, colored pencils or paint? Yeah. You know, it, it's same image, right. different qualities, different right. whatever, whatever. But um, I think that it just comes down to taste, artistic yeah, taste, taste yeah. everything like that. And, and it's like at the same time, film still has to upload to a 
platform that's digital. Or you can go reverse. You know, you talked about you want to be remembered as film. Well, just take everything digital and print it out. Yeah, that's true. not film, but, yeah. you know, if you want it to, to yeah, be a so physical form. Yeah, so we could get into that, too. That's why I literally I bought, like, a, a industrial printer. So mm-hmm. I started well, just t- printing. Tell us about that. So yeah. like, what, is that the reason why you bought it? Is it just because I wanted to print my own stuff? Is it because you wanted to print bigger stuff because you wanted to use it in your business? I, yeah, I mean, it's a... Uh, overall, all of that, like, honestly, I just wanted to cut the middleman. I like cut the middleman out. Like, I was just tired of sending my money to a place, and I was getting like paper that I didn't really want to print on. Like, I, now I'm printing on quality, like gallery art paper, so or photo paper. So, I don't know. It's just like the having the hands on again, like having having the ability to just I could shoot one day and just print the same day. You know, like and it's all handcrafted yeah, from. Like a, Scratch and from then start to finish. Yeah, everything's one of one. So I, I I try to keep that like aspect of everything. Like it's still exclusive to you, you know. So no, but nobody's ever gonna get this copy of this image. So I'm trying to keep it exclusive as much like that. So do you find uh, a lot of times are you shooting for that person, saying, "Hey, this is your image. I'm gonna get it for you, and this is one of one." Or is it like you take the image and then someone's like, "I love that," it's and then they claim it then. Yeah, it's like a they they. It's like I I try and do a a bunch like a bunch of uh prints so i'll do like a collection of 30 in in a show and it's basically what people what it speaks to people and because I, I shoot for myself personally like freelance wise or just like in general my life is just like what i see every day yeah you know like i'm exposed to so much so i try and give like people a peek into that i i think that's kind of like where people are miss understood or maybe i'm misunderstood by that but it's basically a peak into my life every yeah. day yeah C- C- cash do you feel like <clears throat> you try to do the same thing with like the video world and and uh everything like that like with your with your cinematography yeah yeah with the video world um what was the question again okay so he he basically you know in terms of yeah capturing the moment and and doing that one of one for that person do you do that for your video work as well, you would, would you say? Yeah. Because I'm trying to think of how I do it, right? Yeah. yeah I think yeah. it's a little bit of both. Yeah, it's a little bit of both, I would say. And then, um, what, what do you think? I'm going to throw it back. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> it is just spiraled into like, <laughs> what do you think? Um, yeah, I think, I, I love the idea that you do it, right? Because mm-hmm. it's like, a, I, I think, with for, for, photography, it's a little bit more the wild, wild west where yeah. you can kind of get away with being in the moment. Boom, yeah. boom. It's, boom, it's yeah. one frame. Whereas when it comes to video, it has to be a little bit more of like a lot more pre planning. Yeah, pre planning. Yeah. What's the second to be? What's it? What's because now you're doing not just one frame, you're doing 24 frames yeah. per second, yeah. right? So yeah. I think I think there's a little bit more pre production that has to go into mm-hmm. Not to saying that photography can't have pre production. No, of course. Yeah. But I think that's the main separator. Yeah. No, I, I, I totally think like even with my own style, is like not commercial photography it's like that's its own type of lifestyle it's its own thing like I, that's how i make it live but then i could go into commercial and do it like separated too um i think like with video is like directors are have to be good at storytelling i i believe that's like we're that's the foundation yeah the foundation you have no story everything. doesn't matter yeah. what kind yeah, of that, camera yeah. none of that but now it's like oh people think if I mean, I'm not saying it's not a, it's, they can't do it, but like people are just picking up cameras and shooting me videos, and it's like, uh, that's cool, but there's no story to it. Well, then, I feel yeah. like that was just they like pick, a, up a, a, pick a, up a camera and then they call themselves a director or that, you know. And yeah. I, I work with like great directors, like you know, you guys had Keone on the show, so I, me and him were like that was that's my twin, you know. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm we're we're a night right next to each other, like on our come up, so. We shot hundreds of music videos, and he always came with something different. Like, there's no idea that I've seen that he went, went back to and was like, oh, let's just redo this. Or, you know, if he did, it was just, like, something that he had to do and then just redid it and, just like, dressed it up differently. But it wasn't necessarily the same thing. Well, I mean, at the same time, too, there was always that foundation of that story because yeah. it's, like, I just feel like, because I know for me, like, I'm, I don't really come from too much of a directing background. Mm-hmm. I'm more of, like, a, a you know, technician, operator, et cetera. Yeah. I'm always thinking how do, how do we get the shot? What is the shot? Yeah, What's yeah. the movement? What's the gear? What's mm-hmm. the the framing? All these sort of things to where it's like story doesn't naturally come first for me. Right. So and I think that's the problem that people fall into. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a camera. Oh, this looks cool. Yeah. Okay. This, this all that stuff looks cool. Okay, yeah. that's great. You're halfway there, and or I'd say more like a quarter there. Because yeah. again, you still need the why. I I read or heard something the other day where mm-hmm. it's like you know a lot of people start with the how the what the how and then the why. Yeah. But if you start with the why, then you go to the how, then to the what, things become a lot more clear. Yeah, that makes sense. So I think, you know, just remind yourself constantly of that. 
And then you always have something to fall back on and like, mm-hmm. this is why we're doing it, which hence this is our story. Hence mm-hmm. that just drives everything. Yeah, it's true. I'm like, I'm super into storytelling. So I, that's why I try and, you know, they say like a uh, picture t- says a thousand words or, t- mm-hmm. you know, tells a thousand things. So it's not even just necessarily my pictures as well. Cause I, I started doing video. I was a cinematographer before I started doing photography. The reason why I started doing photography was because Ryan Leslie had said something. He said, uh, you should see every image or you should see every visual like an image or like, you know, like he was showing me just cinem- cinematic looking like videos and stuff like that. So I like literally embedded the photography side on, into that. So I was trying to make every frame look like a picture, like pretty much how he said it. So. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. And then just make it move. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, right? Yeah. Let's uh let's actually take a look at some of your work. Let's go ahead and pull up uh Mises website here so we can take mm-hmm. a look at kinda what we're talking about here, mm-hmm. some of the inspiration, some of the different hairstyles throughout the years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, had locks. Yeah, definitely had to go on. Cut them off this year. So let's new uh start, new start yeah, or new what? Start. Or not this new no, last yeah, year. Yeah. Sorry. I forgot. I know, we're you... totally in January right now. <laughs> Tripping, tripping, tripping me out, man. So let's look at this here. We got your photography reel slash page pulled up here. So let's talk about just this beautiful, these beautiful shots. Yeah, Looks so like we're gonna Bay go. Area. Yeah, this is probably like eighty percent Bay Area stuff. But you know, I've I'm well traveled for sure. This is probably LA, this is L A. Antelope, uh, California. But like, yeah, like I, you you'll go through my page and it's just like a bunch of images. Like it's just stacked up. And this like is this not one. even. Yeah, this it's is cool. not even like. This is probably not even a quarter of my work. Not even like a, close to it. Like the, my website is just for like looks, you know. I would say if you don't got a Mies picture in your house, you're oh, yeah. fucking slept. Everywhere I go, everywhere <laughs> I go, sleeping. everywhere I go, it's some memorabilia. Either they got a table book or a print, you know. Like so, that's that's always humbling and dope as fuck too, because. Oh, sorry if I'm, I don't know if I'm allowed to cut. No, you're good. Uh, All right. the show. And, no, just kidding. No, you're good. But, um, Y'all are good. But no, like, I think that's where it comes with, like, having one-on-one pieces. And it's just uh, separate for for that person and individual to share, like, within their household. And, then, you know, and I'll just take from that pretty much, like, just continue to shoot, like, what I want. Because everybody likes what I do, you know, for the most part. I think I take pretty amazing images. You take amazing yeah. images, and it's like you just understand the Bay culture so timeless. well. Yeah, it's so well, time, yeah. it's timeless like, too. Timeless, I, th- I feel yeah. like the uh, the images you capture, there, there's always a story that we can make up yeah. ourselves. And you know, like the Bay is like such a its own thing. Mm-hmm. It's like our, our, you know, like I really feel like we've had we've had like our generations of you know like civil rights stuff or you know black panthers being there i mean cult just uh, you know culturally culturally, yeah culturally rich and it's cool when you know we are we of course everybody goes through their gentrified stage but like i I was watching this something on youtube and it was like artists are the ones that push the economy forward like if you really think about it like artists and creatives like um they're the ones that go into a like raggedy place and just like build it up. If you think about it, like they'll go into like the middle of the hood and pull a gallery there. And then you never know, like five years later, now the gentrifiers are moving in or whatever, you know? So it, I, once I like kind of implemented that, like conservatives versus like creatives, it was kind of a, a different kind of conversation in my head that I, you know, started to understand better as a creative. Well, I think it's also moving with the spaces too, right? Because now, yeah. even in today's world, we're we're less and less brick and mortar stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot, like like you even said, yeah. NFTs. Now we're yep. living in Web three, these digital spaces where, how can we still move and groove and make mm-hmm. a profit and do what we got to do? And right. he, here's another. Okay, I want to know your opinion on this. Yeah, <laughs> all this freaking AI photography slash artwork popping up. And good, good topic. How yeah. people like does that hurt you? Does that help you? Nah, I mean, what what are our thoughts from the hip? Roll the time. I, I spoke on this. I spoke on this on my LinkedIn. I just put a post up. I was like, I feel like. Did you cuss them out? Nah, nah, nah <laughs> I didn't go that hard. I was just like, uh, basically, like I I feel like AI is gonna be like another NFT type ploy, like backdoor type thing, and then you know people are bringing up content creator. I hate that word. I hate like I hate content creator. That's, That's like. Food, so food, yeah, food, food like, maker when you're really a chef like, yeah, like, <laughs> or something. yeah so i mean well, I, what do you hate 
about that. I don't hate it. I just dislike the word content creator. Like, cause what the f- cause what you, is, what content is a creator really like? If, for you know, what? Well, it's a general it, statement. Yeah, is yeah. It just saying you that you just create content. You just hate that because we always are creating. content. I mean, everyone's creating content, but like, what is good? Well, okay, con- what is good so, content? What is good anything? You know, like every, everything ha- doesn't have a taste value anymore. I feel like it's kind of getting taken away to where. It's well, a good question. You know, like. What is a content creator? Is that what? What is a content creator? What is an influencer for real? What is like? What do these people actually influence? Like, are you influencing? The masses? I mean, but how though? Their, their community? How? How? Because of any? Whether they're attractive? Whether they're funny? Whether yeah. they're yeah? No, I, I understand. I understand yeah. that. I understand all that. Trust me. I'm right, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I've been in the loop of all that stuff. But sometimes, you're just saying you felt like it, like creating content. So we went from making multi-billion dollar movies right. so now anyone can post something on not necessarily anyone media. but yeah it's, it's the feeling it's of that you know it's like it's cameras like the rap cheaper. Game? you said what what would you say is like the rap game the rap game like when soundcloud popped up i yeah. want to say it's yeah, like the like, rap game i would say it's like, like down like saturated or like yeah it's like uh, the internet is saturated like oh, as yeah. a whole you know like when me, so like when we were coming up, I feel like it was. I mean, of course, it's gonna change, but like I, I feel like the quality of somebody's work is not appreciated as much as, oh, this got f- one point seven million views because it was funny. Like, okay, so th- that's a good question because today's currency is attention. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. le- that's because the, that's because more it's more than valuable than money. Because back in the day, yeah. it was like I have this painting. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna sell this painting for a thousand dollars. That's our currency, right? Yeah. And but now you got an NFT and you can sell it for however thousand. True, but I think like again, it's all about because again, like I think the the narrative has shifted as well. Where you know we're not advertising as much on billboards, we're advertising on Facebook yeah. ads, ads, yeah. right? And yeah. and that's much more effective ads. because yeah. one more attention is there, and second of all. It's targeted. Yeah, it could be anybody could be driving on the highway. Say that billboard doesn't apply to them. Ninety mm-hmm. percent of your masses. But if you say, "Hey, I'm looking for a 25 year old in LA that is interested in cinematography because I have this cinematography reel or this product that I'm trying to sell," that's potentially going to give you a much higher return on your investment. Yeah, I would say yeah. So I think, but that's also why it's changed though too. That's why an influencer is a thing yeah. because they are one that can attract attention. Yeah, no, attention I, is the currency. Yeah, I'm now, not taking on. away an if. But they, I'm just trying they to. They could have just figured out the algorithm. No, nah, true, true. Or they that's could. True. Or, or they could. Hell and or I mean, they could have bought their followers. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't have like a beef it, with influencers. I'm not, yeah. You know, I, I, people would say I am an influencer in a, in a sense. I'm saying I, like on the deepest aspect of like a You're ethos and stuff. Yeah. Like, what are you actually influencing as far as like? making progress to something or yeah. you know it's, you know it's like you think positive or negative has uh yeah ways of factor yeah because like, people could act positive on the internet but there are negative outside of that you know like it's such a cliche yeah cliche mm-hmm. it's like a wall Smoking it's like ears. people are yeah you know i'm like of, of course like i can't really like i don't want to speak on it too much but like i'm around all these real environments so like for me, it's like if you can't put yourself in these rooms, then how? What are you actually influencing? What are you actually creating? Like, I, it's 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 deep. I know it's, it's it gets deep, bro. It's kind it, of like it all, it I get it. You're down. getting paid. You're getting paid on the internet. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. We, got we come it. from we come from grinding, finding the best quality, whatever quality song. Like, let's do it. We want to. We want to shoot this music video because the song's dope. You know? I think that still exists, and I think no, that, it, like, do, it does. It yeah. does. I'm just saying, it's like as it's right now, it's just like all over the place. Everyone's a content creator, or this or that. Yeah, it's like exactly. Where do, where do we draw the line of this is quality influencing? This is quality content creation. Uh, if you're the brand, it depends on your return on investment. If you, if as you as a person, person that though. enjoys, like for example, like okay, we talk about. I don't know that at the same time because you got to think movies aren't movies are still movies, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so I think that there's certain things of aspects that haven't quite got, they're still separate from that content creation. Yeah, right? yeah. So I guess it just depends on what world you're living in. If, yeah. you, if you never log on to social media, well then you, what it what does, it doesn't do, it doesn't affect your world. You, exactly. So it's all, it's all perspective. Right. Yeah. Um, but I think that again, you know, it's it, whether it's newspaper ads, billboards, to internet ads, to influencer marketing, mm-hmm. it's always going to be where 
where's the money, right? Yeah, it's and always marketing from, advertisement. Uh, marketing this goes advertisement. to uh, uh, Wallow and a million dollars worth of game yeah. podcast. Um, he was like, at the end of the day, business is all marketing and advertising. That's it. Because, you know, it's Super Bowl. You know, he got millions of people watching the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm in that. You know, I've, I've actually worked in that space. Like, so, and that's what I mean it, where it gets deep. Like, how deep are you guys into content creation and, and being an influencer? Like, I think that's also something that scared me as well. Because, like, I know through our brand and stuff that I've done, like I've done, I did the Twitch streaming for a couple of years during the pandemic mm-hmm. and all this stuff in the midst of me also trying to grow as a cinematographer, to yeah. grow as a camera operator, et cetera. And it's always, it's always kind of scared me of like, Oh, do I really want to deep dive in to growing my YouTube or growing this? Cause, and then maybe I'll be seen as a YouTuber so, yeah, and, exactly. and not, not be taken seriously so, yeah, right. in, in LA or He's just a the, YouTube or, filmer or, or, yeah. or, or, or in the field. <laughs> like imagine like, like a big name director is looking for a DP and like, are they gonna choose someone that's like nitty gritty, old school, like only works on features, features or, or, or is it gonna or, go or, the influencer? Yeah. Or, well, or like okay, so like, but are have, the influencers you know? putting their money into making movies or short films? I think it's a combination of, of both. I think a lot, of, a yeah, lot more depends, people. Yeah. What, yeah. Like we're doing? we're in talks with uh, you know a, that whole market about potentially doing some short films and stuff like that as well. And it's like, what's the separator between the fact that I came from that avenue then you know, go in the film festival route yeah, or yeah. whatever it be like, what, what, who is the determiner of what is valid? I think, or, I think that's my know? biggest question too. I mean, there's so much like, even for myself, it's like, I see my, my work as it's quality work, but who's really the gatekeeper of creatives or how could you put a value on create creation at all let me ask like, you this it's subjective how, how deep do you do your do you think that your work travels i think it's i think it's far i think i think it's literally like right, people be on like uh boardrooms like how do we get our work to look like this uh, that might like, sound crazy but like like the biggest companies you know like like you your specific past my specific yeah right? past work uh work that i'm doing on Insta- it doesn't matter like I feel like that five by five box or whatever, wherever I post on social, it's getting attention somewhere. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I've traveled far and far out, you know what I'm saying? So, man, and, it yeah, it's just, it's just crazy to think about. And I think that like, at the end of the day, I don't think we, I don't think we all think about like how deep our, yeah, our no, travels, I don't, you know Yeah, I don't think, I don't think anybody, think yeah, no, nah, as far as us, yeah, that's like being a, creative person yeah, you like, just like trying best. to find, find the next problem to solve yeah that shit doesn't what stop it like? doesn't stop on set it doesn't stop in our lives it, no. you know it's just an ongoing thing yeah yeah and I, then I, if you have entrepreneur spirit you're just like oh yeah you're off to the races you're yeah gone, you know i learn more and more every day that i'm we're not cinematographers we're <laughs> problem solvers yeah problem solvers problem every, solvers every, accountants yeah. security everything uh yeah, yeah. Everything and it's a blessing and a curse, and it's like, yeah. but yeah, I think that it's it's just super super subjective, and I think it doesn't matter if you're a YouTuber, it doesn't yeah. matter if nah. you're a really big name Hollywood director, yeah. as long as you are an artist and you're able to express that art to the world, yeah, and people receive it well, I think that's success. Yeah, I think that's I think yeah. However, you could get yourself out there, like. Yeah. I didn't want to be like a person to be out there. I, I, before I didn't even, I just posted my work. I didn't post my face, but then like you have to be a face. Uh, well, social media is kind of your business card nowadays. Yeah, it's like, yeah. That's the first thing people ask for. They only ask for my website. I, yeah. I mean, I can see who looks on my website. It's like people from all over India, China, mm-hmm. you know. I get like pings Europe. all over the world. Yeah, so. VPN. They're all in LA. It's just a VPN. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's crazy to think about, but. Um, so what, what, what is kind of your, you know, I know that you like have a lot of your photography stuff on your website and everything Mm -hmm. like that. Um, is there certain things that you don't post on your website for certain reasons? Like, cause you're trying to keep it a certain look or a certain, uh, uh, I mean, I kind of use my website as like an overall, like, is that like your photo dump? Yeah. It's just like old images or like, do you update? How often does a person like me is updated their website? I probably update my Instagram and VS Code account way more than my website. My website probably doesn't get any attention unless it's like a big project or an event or something. You know, I sell my prints on there, but like even then, it's it's kind of hard to sell prints through 
uh, websites because it's like people want to see it in person and just make a decision for themselves. I don't, you know. That leads us into our next tactic of a photographer. Mm-hmm. You just walk in with a print and sell it. <laughs> no, I, I I do a show, so like I put a show together. Tell us about the shows. So I put like a show together at a, a art gallery. This last one I did at uh, Tyranny's Art Gallery. It's in downtown Oakland. How's that work? Like you put a show together. Like, is it just you? Well, or you got, a, you know, a team? Of before, artists? yeah, before I had a, um, a curator, Nicole. Uh, she, you know, she's producing for her. Shout out Nicole. Yeah, shout out Nicole. If she ever came to watch our stream, yeah, nah. she would see this. And Yeah, yeah. Nah, she, she, she's too busy. She's, she's too busy. She's becoming a mom. Mom, becoming yeah. A mom. Mom, mom. <laughs> but no, nah, she was like a huge help, like during my, like a, a lot of years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was just helping me, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and then she would put on events as well. She was that's what she was doing. And then we like collaborated on doing weddings and all type of stuff. So mm-hmm. it just worked out like amazing. So but, this art show, mm-hmm. you it's just you? Yeah. Um you well not not, not just me. Um I have my homie Nooney. He um he helped get the merch uh done and thirteen gallons as well. They're the people that printed the merch. But like yeah, that's pretty much the process. And also the graphic designer as well. So it's a collaboration so, yeah. event. Like all three people yeah, come but, together um, yeah. and then you sell uh, and yeah. then you split yeah. pro- pro- proceeds. Yeah. Is there a door charge, cover charge? No, yeah. all my events have been free. Okay. Yeah. When's the next event? Can we tell the people? Uh, probably this year. Like I'm trying to do like, like a within the next kind of months. I'm, I'm trying to do something like a experience more like a dinner or something like a mm. charity dinner. Interesting. You know? interesting. And then, interesting. Yeah. So like basically how would that work? They they come in, they pay for just the dinner, boom, yeah. and then it's kind of like an auction. Kind of like an auction, yeah. Okay. Like uh, I'm gonna see how you know who I, I work with a bunch of people like Oaklandish a, and like the school, like just you know even sell my a ticket. Yeah, a yeah, hundred dollar ticket, food covered. Yeah, yeah, and then you get one come, drink. Yeah, come <laughs> <laughs> two drinks, three. Definitely. But um, no yeah. open house. Yeah, be like a oh, cool charity bar. event for yeah. you know the city take donations too yeah so essentially art yeah uh, yeah mostly art maybe like you know and then taking donations yeah yeah for your your whatever cause whatever cause whatever cause whatever cause comes up whatever i I like nonprofits out there i like executive creating stuff so you know like i know everybody says that's like a reckless thing to do but like no i've spent money on creating cool stuff so, so we also have a question in the chat. I kind of answered it, but what's on the auction block? Is it just going to be your prints? Is it going to be big? Oh, no, 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 no. I be, mean, I try and come with stuff? something different. So, like, uh, I'll do, like, a table book. I think this year I'm going to focus yeah. on uh, dropping my second table book. And, um, yeah, just, like, merch. And I don't know. I'm kind of trying to figure out, like, different little avenues. Yeah. Are you going to sell valuable stuff? Uh, nah. Like, really. someone in chat wants your left sock. Is that? I don't know why they want my left sock. No, they didn't actually request that, but you know, we're we're predicting the future. But yeah, all the prints come signed. So yeah. there you go. Hey, is uh, mine signed? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Of course. For sure. Better double check that. I double check, man. Before he leaves yeah. the building, yeah. better sign that shit. Not for sure. Sign it no. twice. <laughs> Definitely sign it. I signed it three times. One of one. Yeah. Do you Authentic. have? Do you have a favorite? Uh, do you have a favorite photo that you've ever taken, or top three, mm. and why? <sighs> Top three out of the millions you've probably taken. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. I I've got a one that my homie Anastasio took. That I feel like that was my. Is I, it the it wheelie one? No, it's the one oh. where I was standing on the roof of uh this building five five five. So before Salesforce was built, it was like the tallest building. Like Transformers was shot on top of it and stuff like that. So I stood on top of the uh, edge of that, and I was like one of my favorite all time pictures. That of myself. Is it is it on your Instagram or anything? Or? Yeah. I think it's on my homepage, actually. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's pull, yeah, it up. Just pull it up. Pull it up. Yeah. I think it's on the homepage. And who took the picture? Anastasio. And it's what is it? You Is it you a- at the edge or are you looking down? Oh, it's yeah. It's me on the edge, like uh, looking yeah, down at the one. city. Yeah. So it's yeah, like I, a, I want to say I commented on yeah, your it's IG like a, saying it. It's, it's a pretty it's iconic it. picture. I've, I've, I've posted it like a couple times. Is it this one? one of my, nah. It's like, it's ridiculous, bro. It's not even. I don't even know if it's in there. When you but, see it, you'll know. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's in this uh, row of pictures. But. What about Instagram? Uh, Instagram, you're going to have to dig. It's, it's Hey, when you're traveling like this one right here, uh-huh. who's taking that photo? I always wondered. Like, who takes these photos when you're in NDA? Put, when you're NDA. NDA. Tri- tripod with the freaking... Everybody <laughs> that comes with me signs an NDA. So they, so they, so they can't so, say so, anything. So, so someone then? Maybe. So someone. Might be somebody. Might be myself. 
Most of the time, I take my own pictures, though. Yeah, secrets. Secrets yeah, of the trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, Sometimes he's, you got to keep top, top secret. <laughs> sure. You got a clicker. You must have a clicker. Yeah, self-clicker. It's by myself. I don't, I don't remember who took that picture, but I was like, Vienna, Austria, different places. Castle. That's a castle. It's just regular in the hood or in San Francisco. Oh, Bando. Barcelona. Like, what, keep, what's know. the what's the ratio of photos you take of yourself compared to photos that limited? You take of- like I literally don't take pictures of myself. I I like don't have no selfies in my phone. Like I'm gotcha. like the most non picture person. I like that one. Yeah, that was in Bratislava. Right after that, um, the police came. Did you travel to go take these pictures? Or you just yeah. yeah what's going yeah. on with travel? These? Travel. What are you doing? You just knew you traveling. wanted to hit just up traveling, the, yeah. So did you want to hit up these specific spots? You said, nah, hey, I'm going to fly out to Austria nah. and I'm just going to see what I get. I mean, uh, at that time I was with somebody. So we were tra- just traveling hell places. But you were just like, I'm just going to sh- pick up yeah. whatever's getting yeah. thrown my way. Whatever way, London, like Milan, like literally all in a month. Let me ask you this. <clears throat> all these photos. Yeah. One in camera. Yep. Two cameras. Really? Two cameras. It's my second camera, yeah. Same model? Nah, this is a, so okay. I had the three Mark three and then nah, I got the Mark. Four. Show the people, show the people, yeah, show hold them. it up. Let's see, let's see what Everybody we're wants to know. T- snap, snap I a got a Sigma flicks. thirty five. Yeah. Hit him with that shutter. Hit him with that shutter. All right, yeah. Yeah. Hit him with the clock. But um, yeah. No, nah, I literally say it's not about the camera. Honestly, it's like it's just a tool, you know. Mm. But it's really about what you want to tell, yeah. tell stories like. Absolutely. You know. I, I try and show myself a little bit like out out there because like I, it's different for me, like coming from the Bay. Yeah, for most real. people don't. Now you're up in freaking yeah all wherever over. wherever this is. That's crazy. Stamps. Did, how uh yeah now for real like, yeah stamps on the passport basically. Oh, yeah. How much do you edit your pictures or do you like to just set everything perfectly in camera? Maybe give a little bit of touch up. Sometimes yeah, sometimes or, it just depends. Like um, or do you go you, full into the raw settings? Nah, usually um. I just pull them off off my camera and then go straight to Lightroom and then, like I I just, just give my on. my formulas I use the same filter like it's, it's, I don't if you tell it's like the same filter throughout the whole all my pictures literally I literally probably don't even switch that up. Damn. So it's just like a he, clean. He, he's straight you know, controlled C yeah, or could, Command C for you Mac users. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> if I didn't say that, nobody would know that I just use the same filter. I mean, is it do okay? Do we feel that's something to really? be like not ashamed of but like no like, like no that, i think like it's just an ex- a distinct style that i have so but, you can point but, it out you can point it out if not then just leave so, it as a but, but you image. happen to find one that just works well with the greens and the blues and yeah. the darks and the lights yeah and, it's just and then sometimes it, like if it's like so a little different off ones or, or you you said you use the same one i use the same like <laughs> versions of okay it's like so, a, so like a, be, yeah. a, a bunch of like a group of six. Yeah, you, like high contrast, yeah, low contrast, so, uh, softness. Uh, like within the, within the, whatever it's, you know. You said you're using LUTs? In Lightroom? I'm not going to give you all the formula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, what's, the, what's, the, what's the down? But yeah, you know, we were, we was cracking programs back then. Yoni was cracking programs for, for me. And, and, you know, like, he, you know, he's he just tapped in with a bunch of early stuff. So we, I just been having that. I don't think anybody has that uh, like preset package for real. Like Philip Bloom, I'm not gonna tell you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's Damn. legit though. Damn, you trying to call him out, I got, bro? I got thousands worth of lets. Yeah, no. Nah, sure. uh, my homie, my them. homie said I'd be cheating. Like he said I'd be cheating because I use Lightroom. And I'm like, damn. Wait, what's what? What's not cheating? Just not touching it at all. Yeah, I mean, I mean bro, my my turnaround times are usually the same day or a day. Yeah. I'll do a whole wedding and like turn around the same day. But like. Why is it cheating? Because you can have those yeah, presets. presets. Yeah, man. I mean, it is what it is, bro. You know what I mean? That's like that's I mean, like saying, "Hey, I have my fucking picture profile where I yeah, know I'm yeah. gonna shoot at this ISO or this shutter or this yeah. whatever." It's, no, it's but yeah, it's it's all custom. Like I I go deeply in it or just like put a little mm-hmm. you know, little touch. Yeah, a little touch. Definitely. What's uh, what's one thing that everyone knows me to do with his photos? Send them the same day. Hey, hey. Here you go. Let's go. Would you, would you same day delivery? <laughs> would you say speed is king? Yeah, and consistency. Did like, you? It's a lot of discipline that me and Yoni got to learn, like on tours and turning around. Like, 
I mean, that's how we got into it for real. Like, we came from a show, and this fool, me and this fool, he was editing the whole night. Like, we slept on the couch, like him, his hands on the, you know, keyboard. Yeah. Like, we Post woke stores. up same, and he got back to it and turned it into Ryan Leslie. Or well, it was actually a whole. It was like a bunch of people, but yeah. Ryan. Le- so, Ryan, so you learned it out of necessity. Learned that that was. That the was the way, grind. That was the way you yeah, liked to operate. I mean, that you needed to operate and just that, ran with it. At that at that point, we were before we were already like trapping. Like we was already in the trenches. Like we're gonna do music videos. We're gonna charge this much, and we're gonna do as many as we can in this amount of time, months. And then we also had our own collective, so it was like we're. I was you know dishing out their photography and behind the scenes videos, and like way before all this like exploded. You know what I'm saying? Like we didn't. We had no idea it was gonna be content like content creation you know what i'm saying we're just mm-hmm. we're just doing stuff so we could get on like we want we just wanted to be seen as far as having a collective full of creatives you know what i'm saying so it's it was steps so every step like coming from the trenches boom now we're going to a a, a list celebrities you know like we we acted like we was there already like uh, you know like pretend like we've already been there type thing hey just matter of so, fact we got keoni in the chat, he's confirming everything you're saying. No, right? facts. It's fa- <laughs> I'm telling you, it's facts. Like, yeah. no, literally in the trenches, like him going back uh, to, he went to Europe. And then when he came back, he uh, called me. He was like, yo, uh, you want to switch like uh, to go Orion? And so I flew to New York and then. Oh, I you took up, over? Yeah, I took over. Damn. Ended up going to uh, Vienna for 10 days. That was the craziest 10 days I've ever Shot. I think that was like probably my best work too, because it was like was it was it a grind? Like you was up all day, up yeah, all, all day, day. bro. We only got like four hours of sleep per That's day. That's why when we went to Gumball, when I went to Gumball with County, like he wasn't really tripping. Like yeah, nah, he no, nah, he seasoned. Like, what? I'm like, I'm like, bro, what? Bro, the, what? what? We got we got three hours of sleep, bro. Come on, that's bro, nothing. Come on, this is that's this nothing. Is, this is going to labor, bro. We <laughs> would go, we would go days, and we're months away, like from home, like yeah. literally on the road for two months, type like no, yeah, bro. Season, we bro. yeah, bro. No, no sleep, no food. Like we really yeah. came from that. Like I, like I, that's why I be saying like people's story really. I be want to know how deep it is, but we really like sharing meals, like sharing McDonald's meals. Like we came from that struggle type, like you know. Just to, just to make it, to be a creative, be mm-hmm. doing what we want to do now. Just you know? to create content. Yeah, like, and now it's deep. It's just like, oh, we're here, you know? Like, I'm comfortable in all all type of rooms and all type of situations. So it's like, I don't, I'm not starstruck, like, or any of that. Like, I'm not phased by numbers or any of that. Any company approaching me, I'm not really phased by that. Was there anything that would help you keep, like, help keep you up in editing? Uh help keep up no. in terms of we would try like uh, like being overseas or like being I mean, on like any can you said red bulls red bulls all day oh red bull <laughs> yeah no i uh i stayed away from the orange juice because i'm allergic to it so like oh, one man. day we were at a hotel and i was drinking hella orange juice and i like all break up broke out and the hives yeah it's crazy Damn. i mean we, when we was over there we was trying to find weed you know smoking weed I mean, isn't it? It's kind of crazy. Like, I think, I think as like as creatives, it's like you just have your certain ways that you just get in the zone. Yeah, Yeah. 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 even editing. I feel like yeah, editing, same thing. Yeah, I have to get in the zone. Yeah, Yeah, it takes me like twenty minutes to an hour to get in the zone of editing, but it can take me like five seconds to get broken out of it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rinse and repeat. Yeah. I mean, I I mean, everybody has their like process of doing stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I've been doing the same thing, waking up, doing what I want. As long as I can. Mm-hmm. Do you watch a lot of movies? Yep, I you do. do. You do? Okay. I do like to watch movies. Well, uh, that's gonna help you out a ton for our next segment coming up here. Yep. Go ahead and cue that intro, OJ. Guess that. Let's go. I need to peep the chat back back over there. Yeah, the chat's over there. But uh, we got. Mm, guess that frame. Right. Yep. The rewards go higher. Ooh, all right. This is. Uh, hold up! Hold up! Hold up! All right. Shouldn't even be looking at this. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, take, get, no, take no, no lifelines. Yeah. No lifelines. Not yet. All right. Guess that frame. The rewards go higher every time. You might get a thousand dollars or a free hoodie if you get five out of five. You only get one lifeline to the, and you only can talk to the live audience or FaceTime a friend. You get twenty seconds to answer each frame. FaceTime a friend. And you get <laughs> bonus points if you can provide details or feedback of the frame. All of our frames are brought to you by Shot Deck. Are you ready? Yep. All right, let's go get that frame. 
We need a spotlight. <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is the gentleman. One guest down. One uh, I try to see who this is. I can't really tell who that is. Uh, or Batman? No, not a Batman. No, that's that wrong. No, no, that wasn't a guess. <laughs> Damn, what's that movie called? What? Uh, this is frame one of five, y'all. We got Mies on deck. I'm not stumped. I know. I know what movie this is. I just can't mm. think of the name. I can't think We're live of on TikTok, guys. We're doing guess that frame. If you guys want to see the frame live, go to Twitch.tv slash The Cinema Junkies. <laughs> I can't think of the name. <clears throat> Give up? He gives up, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Or do you want to use your lifeline now? You want to use your lifeline now? Yeah. You you save it. Okay. (laughs) All right. Damn. He's over one. And Keone is correct in the chat. Kingsman. That's what the Kingsman. It was on the tip. I said gentleman. Yeah, you did. Kingsman. Gentle kings. (laughs) See titles, I'm terrible at. But yeah, I would have got that right if I knew the name. Oh, let's go. All good. All good. All All right, right. Michelle. On to frame number two. Frame number two. Coming in hot with. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the tone changes. Yes. Uh, we are on this radio show. Yes. This is. Oh, man, I'm terrible with names, bro. Mm. It's just the movie. You don't got to name the actor or actress. Ooh, I might have just gave it away. No, you didn't. <laughs> I still can't even guess it. I can't even. What do you think? Name. I don't know any other movies that that did this, and I might not even this watch is this. Pretty a pretty old acclaimed video, you know what I'm saying? Classic for the hood, kind of. Is my black card gonna be revoked for this one? Mm, no, it's not that. It's not that. Not that. Not that culturally not impacted. That, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, but. Okay, so now what are you thinking? Yeah. Skip. Is it a movie that I said earlier? No, no. I don't think so. Right. Yeah, I'm skip. I don't know. <clears throat> skip it again? Yeah. Skip it again. All I'm right. gonna buy that hoodie, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's go. It is. Dang, y'all did some good picks, bro. I mean, you gave us like five hours to prep. Yeah, so we got some real. good. <laughs> y'all got some good ass picks. <laughs> All right. Did we tell? Did you tell them what it was? In the chat again, correct. It's Asia B one oh, and Keone, dead presidents. Let's go. Keone is a movie person for yeah, sure. He was four out of five, I think. I think yeah. so. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I do well. Yeah. That's good. All right, guys, we're going on to frame three. Uh, Ooh. this is um, this one's kind oh of hard. Gosh. Lone Soldier. <laughs> Wrong. What? Wrong name. Oh, wrong name? Uh, fuck. See, I told you I'm terrible at names, right? <laughs> hey, I, I was telling you earlier, I was like, uh, if I was in your position, I'd probably do like... It's what, it's what Bar- like, Warburg and all that. Uh, it's called... Uh, which one? Um, Thor Ragnarok. You still got one Wi-Fi. Am I... Still oh, got one how do I use my Wi-Fi? I mean, you can ask the audience or you can ask some right, chat. Let's... No, wait. Am I, uh, am I, ri- am I right about the title warm. or no? Oh, warm? Okay. It's it's with the four four soldiers, right? It's along as the lines of the story. Yeah. Uh, I'm terrible at titles, bro. <laughs> I'm terrible at titles. All that weed you smoke. Literally. Lone Lone Soldier. What is it called? Lone Soldier. Long. What is he doing right now? He's trying to. Lone Survivor. Ah, ah. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I, I see. I could, bro, I could literally watch it from this part in my head. Like, it's crazy. He gets shot up. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. this is grass is great frame. Bro, if that, was, if that was a real story, that they were, bro, they were in the that trenches. Was that was real trenches. Yeah, real trenches. That's a good movie too. By yeah. the way, all these frames are picked by Zach. Yeah, he yeah. goes crazy. So Zach goes crazy. He, he definitely. He's gonna get you on these next ones. He, right? he he came in, he picked some hard frames, and he dipped. He's like, I'm gonna go yeah, get groomed cut. now. I'm gonna go get my hair cut. I'm gonna go, cut out gonna go look. Gonna go look dapper while I watch them suffer. Yes. All right, 
Frame four. You're up. Oh my goodness, I don't even. Oh. Oh, 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 what do we got? Frame four, what is this? That's an ugly dude, though. I'm going to challenge Keone to answer this. If Keone gets this right, you get it right. Oh, this is this Maybe. isn't. He got it. Yeah, Keone gets it right. We're, we're gracing you with the lifeline. Yeah, this is, this a, is a military movie, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Could be a psychopath movie. A psychopath movie? I don't know. I'm just, I don't want to be right. watching murder or stuff. Hey. Like, I ain't in a silly uh, okay. Jeffrey Dahmer? Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know this one. Wait, what's this? What are you? What are you at right uh, now? No, it, wasn't, it wasn't. I'm like uh, one in. It wasn't one Dahmer. In, it yeah, was uh, what's the other dude? What's the other dude? I don't even know these the these dude? killer dudes. I don't oh, think it's. Man. Don't throw them off. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, I, I, yeah, like, nah, I don't. Even, I really I don't really, know. All right. <laughs> okay, Keone he didn't this get one. this one, so we cannot give you this answer. Keone, do you want to guess? Yeah, Keone? See, I don't know either. Take a wild guess, Keone. Saving Private oh, Ryan? Yeah. I don't know. No. <laughs> Creature saying it comes at night. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe so. Right? Oh, yeah. You got right. it, boys. Yeah. It was Saving Private Ryan. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> bro, why, just, for real? why did you just randomly say that? That's just hilarious, like, bro. But for real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I just randomly just said that. That's what's up. What made you? What made you say that? Though? Yeah. Because like I seen the flashlight. I'm like, bro, that's like the only visible thing to that time period. Yeah. yeah. That's a great detail. Yeah. Great catch. Great guess. Flashlight was gave it away. Yeah. But I'm like, damn, what good movies was like back then for like in that time? But it was a guess, and we'll give it to you. Yeah. Same Prime Ryan. Yeah. Shout out to Same Prime Ryan. That's good. Great two movie. out of four. Two out of four. This next one, you're not getting. I guarantee it. Damn. Ooh. <laughs> See what we got. I was I was gonna st- I thought y'all was gonna throw a John Wick in there. Oh let's see. Mm, no. Oh no. This one This one is uh Oh shit. This is from Zach. He said impossible. I even forgot what he said earlier. I'm trying I know, to remember because I, I never watched it, but Oh th- yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh <laughs> is this it's more recent. I think it came out last year, right? You you still have a lifeline and you're two out of four. <clears throat> you take home a pen. <laughs> Great, a pin. <laughs> I gotta need some more pins. Um, you can FaceTime somebody. You can ask the audience. Ain't nobody, anybody in my FaceTime gonna know who this is. Just like pointing at the screen. Like, oh that? yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. That's a, that's a crazy shot though. That is is that like, that's a doorway? Seems like a people shot. Yeah. This um. Now now we're probably in the realm of like murder and stuff. Maybe. Maybe. This might be a romance. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Damn, I don't know. I was gonna say the professional because it kind of looked oh, like that. That's but, a good guess. Yeah, but no, you're wrong. Uh, it came out last year. I don't know. I think it's a series, right? Or is it a movie? I'm not sure. I feel like this is a series. I forget though. I can look it up for you, but you're running out of time. Is it, is it a series? <laughs> I mean, who shoots? Not Stranger Things. Umbrella Academy. I don't know. Mm, no. No, uh, five, four. Yeah, I don't three, know. Okay, guys, let's get two. let's reveal. It's the I want to guess minority for it says Keone. What is it? What do we got? It is Snowden. Snowden. No, Snowden. Wow. Yeah, I movie? would have never guessed that. Yeah. yeah. That's a great movie. <clears throat> now is it snowed in? Like, no, like Snowden like, snowing? Like, Snowden, like the, like the the CIA, so, dude. The CIA so like so like John Snow from Game of Thrones. No, no he was like a cousin. famous like Eric Snowden or whatever yeah. his name was. He's and like then, a famous CIA person. Yeah, we, whistleblower. There you go. He was, he was a, a he snitch. Was a, he's a leaf blower. He's a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> was I don't know. I'll have to watch it. But um, so what did you get? One or two? Two out of two. Two, two out of five. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Everybody, that was I, yeah. guess that frame. Guess that frame. If I, if I knew the title on the first one, I think I would have picked it. Yeah. I mean, you know, did you beat crazy? I don't mean, know how many did he get? Zero. He got one. Oh yeah, I beat him. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not. I'll take that. Too soon. Too too much. Song. He's a very competitive person. Song. I'll take yeah. that. <laughs> no, no, that was crazy. Good. If you're watching, just letting you know. Yeah. We appreciate you. Um, one to two, buddy. <laughs> all right, everybody. That was our guess that frame segment. Again, Sponsored all images by shot deck. All images by shot deck. That was great. Um, let's see. So. 
kind of hopping back right back into it. Uh, so, what are some of like the your favorite jobs that you've been on? I know you've worked with uh, some athletes along the way, mm-hmm. some some uh, some artists and stuff along the way. What are yeah. some of like your your most memorable and favorite moments from that? I know you don't get starstruck, and stuff yeah, like yeah. That, but there there had to be a moment where you're like, hey, like this is kind of cool. Oh like, yeah, no, nah, I grew up like watching yeah. this person. I mean, or whatever maybe. Even my own experiences too. Yeah, it's like I mean, every day I feel like it's an experience. Like, you know. Still being young, I guess, uh, 31. I've got to experience a bunch. But, yeah, probably most memorable is, like, Apple Billboard and KD, of course, if people know about that, Kevin Durant. Um, even even just stuff like going on tours. Like, I've been on, like, Matchbox 20 and Google Dolls tour, like, on some random, just, like, I'm there. So, yeah. like, that was amazing. I like, see them sell out stuff, stadiums or arenas. So. I know for me, like when I, I actually kind of started off in doing the concert photography and mm-hmm. then eventually into the concert videography yeah, stuff yeah. as well. Yeah. I know for me, like when I'm like filming or doing photos, I'm like completely consumed. And a lot of times I'm like thinking about like the frame, like, oh, the mm-hmm. lighting here, mm-hmm. the composition. Do you, mm-hmm. do you, do you, for yourself personally, do you find that like kind of takes you out of the experience? Uh, Not necessarily. I kind of, you know, like the lights, if you get it right, you know, if, when they're hidden, like. You could make a really good image. I've seen some not like, the images though. I'm talking oh, about like oh. you. So like if you were to just go there as like uh, someone watching the show. Oh, oh yeah, versus yeah. Yeah, yeah. The show. I try I try and experience it like a regular person as much as I can. Yeah. So like, you just like firing from the hip and actually watching the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like shot. when we were with Ryan, like we seen a lot of great moments and it was like, damn, we we wish we could have just because it was such a blur, you just like shooting yeah. shooting the sh- the sh- you know. Autonomously, yeah, what? you're just shooting cons- consistently, so I'm, I don't think we got to really experience like the, those moments. Like, even being in those places, it's like we didn't get to go see those places where I was working. Everybody yeah. thinks like tour life's hella fun or stuff, but like, not when you're working, yeah, oh, not, so like, yeah, like <laughs> it was I, fun when you think about yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> when you think about it and stuff, but like being a nor- that's what I kind of want to keep myself as like a normal individual, so I'll just go to like a show without my camera. And just like experience that, like it, it could be with like whoever, like close friend, you know, like if they got a show somewhere local, I'll just pull up, try to be as normal as possible. I'll, you know, I'll bring my camera, get a little bit of shots, but I definitely want to see them as the artist or talent. Well, you know, they gonna ask, right? Hey, oh you yeah, got, you got you got your camera, of course. On? Yeah, I don't Classic. mind it though. I like yeah. I like I like I I really. Well, what about it. when you wanted to t- when you're just trying to go attend? Are you still yeah? I'm your d- camera? No, nah, I'm I'm just going. And then. Do you feel a certain way when someone's like, "Hey, did you bring your camera?" <laughs> or not necessarily, because it's like sometimes it's like that's what it's, yeah, what's expected. That's what expected. Right. Yeah. Like, hey, we got a question from chat. This is a deep one. What's one moment you wish you could do over again, and why? What happened? To, what happened to make you want to redo it? Oh, we talked about this earlier. Um, one moment you wish you could redo over again. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say redo them because it's like I kind of already lived it, but I would say I would go back. A little bit and maybe polish some things like paperwork wise on back end but like mm. the experiences were there for real like i got to learn hella stuff just like being myself like and i think that takeaway from that is just making it better making myself be better like a better person a better man you know whatever the case may be but taking from those experiences yeah but i mean like you, you you can't also beat yourself up about not knowing it all at the same time. Right? Oh yeah, like, yeah. The, the, the only way you knew that that had to be improved upon was yeah. having to live. Having it, to have, yeah, having to have it happen. So I think that's just life in general for real. You know? Definitely, you just gotta have things happen and then just experience it through through the time. And it's for me, it's like I, I'm not too hard on myself even with life. Like I I enjoy it every day for real because you never know, you know. So yeah, I mean. Pfft. Yeah. Why, I mean, why should you? Right? Yeah, you I, mean, should, like, I don't think anybody should stress as much. Like when, when people, when I hear people stress about things, I'm just like, dang, I really don't or try and stress about none of that. Honestly, I try and just find the biggest solution to fix it. You know, mm-hmm. it's not gonna fix it. You know, there's nothing really fixable about life or yeah. anything in general. But find the best solutions again. You know, trying to find best solutions for everything. Yeah, I mean, and just kind of, <clears throat> just also, I guess having a little bit of blind faith sometimes yeah. you know, and just terms yeah. in terms of like this is all just going to work out yeah. or yeah, you know literally. yeah it's hard now but it's like trying to teach me something on mm. the other side that's yeah. going to make me stronger yeah i think that's what was important too like even teaching my kids is like they have to see a person that's 
doing it. You know what I'm saying? They're not exposed to it. I don't think we were exposed to it either. Like I didn't have like a the closest person to me that was doing that what we're what I was doing was Keone, you know. So like that was a huge impact for me. But then I took it and I was like, well, I should apply this. I, I've already kind of made it, you know, to successful. I could apply it and give it to like 50 kids, you know. Maybe eight of them will do well in, in their own realms of things. So, do, do you ever think about like how things would have been different if you would have like gone into sports or something else? Oh, yeah. Because um, out of high school, I went to a D2 uh, college like in Los Altos. And I was already like about to start playing soccer like you know they were third in the nation at the time so and I I was already coming from like a small town I didn't really know what I wanted to do I didn't think I was gonna pick up a camera like back then now I think about people would probably laughed at me like oh you want to be a photographer like what the hell like I never thought that was cool or anything I was like super in the streets too so I like I I don't know kind of like transformed how I was living then you know, for myself, I just wanted to build a career. I wanted to be somebody instead of like having those two options, either dead or in jail. I always got told that, you know, mm-hmm. like there are certain traumas that, you know, some some uh, minorities or, you know, us like, you know, that are at the bottom have to go through and you got to hear a bunch of stuff, you know, like, oh, you can't do this or you can't do that. But like me, I just wanted to prove to myself and prove to everybody else that I could do it. I mean, that had to make you stronger, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I think like it's funny because it seems like a lot harder in the moment because it's like, you know, you want people around you that are supportive, right? But at the same time, it's like, I almost feel like at the other end of the spectrum when like life's too easy, it's just handed to you. you, 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 When you're an adult, you're like a a tomato. You're, 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 (laughs) you know, you're like you, yeah. I mean, you're not going to be able to function in a real, in a real world, in a real setting. Like, yeah. I always tell like uh, a lot of people that I've I've met more vicious people than I've probably met like within my realm of people that I'm day to day. You know what I'm saying? Like I've met way more vicious people than them, and I've always like not wanted to be one of those people. I always wanted to be like a good person or looked at as a good person, good citizen. You know, too. So I've always pushed that like I, just mentally for myself, I'm not trying to be so much like a looked at as a criminal or anything like. And, I, you know, I had locks, so, like, of course, people are going to stereotype me or whatever. But, you know, even cleaning myself up now, it's like, I just look like a did regular. You, did, you, uh, did you do that on purpose or you just, like, kind of, like... No, it was just, uh, like, a relief yeah, thing. Yeah, just yeah, like, I'm just going to change yeah, it up. I'm just change it up and just, you know, I had a lot of just some it, it, uh, inner things that I had, like, just my for myself. Like, I was just, like, oh, kind of over it. And I was, like, maybe my hair is just, like... Maybe I just need a cleanse from it. So, have you thought about? I don't know if you have already, but yeah. have you thought about diving more into? Like, I know you have your own clothing stuff. Yeah. Right, but have you di- thought about diving even more into that? Or not necessarily. It's always been kind of. It's always been kind of like, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna create something. Yeah, real quick. it's kind of like, I really don't want to see myself take a company from zero to a million with just merch. Like, people do it. People have done it, and that's what I kind of feel like it is. Like, um, for me, it's like. I'd rather see how how well like a print does or something timeless. Like I think again, like you can't put a a number on creativity or creation. Like value for that is like it's priceless because you can't go. Sometimes you can't go back to those times or, or you know stuff like that. So it's always good to look back. Like I I could look at back at pictures from ten years I took of the city and to now it looks totally different. You know. The people is t- totally different. The stories are totally different. Yeah. So it really is about the experience, you know? Definitely, definitely. So what do, what do you, what else do you see in the future that kind of, what have you seen on the photography side of things? Because obviously in our video side of the stuff, we're, yeah. doing, we're doing motion control, we're doing the robot, we're yeah. doing a bunch of LED wall stuff, et cetera. Yeah. Is there any technologies in the photo space or anything else that you're working on in particular that like, there's thing there's don't really yeah know about there's that? there's there's markets micro markets that I've played around with ideas with like I could really, I, like uh buying and selling within a like a photography community like cameras like film photography and digital like it'd be cool to have like a board of digital photographers and then a board of digital I'm probably talking too much and telling people my ideas but <laughs> 
Yeah, like nah, I, good. Uh, like a whole community basically of uh, like that would be like a mobile thing, like an app, you know, like kind of like how StockX is, but in the camera camera field of things. You know, I'm I'm pretty I'm just throwing out just one idea like off the top that I could just you know, like I just need to find a developer and just go in. Yeah, so any developers out there, go and hit up uh, me on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm down with all, like yeah. all type of create collaborative creations. Like I work with um, a couple artists like on merch, and like those are my probably my funnest projects for real. Like I'm um, working with them, like another cre- creator, like an artist for real. Like my um, homie Ego did. We did some hoodies, and I had a quote on the back. <clears throat> And that, this was during COVID, so I was selling like two hundred dollar hoodies during COVID. Like that got me through like some good times, you know? or you know, th- not good times, but time, yeah. that time, you know, <laughs> the good old days. And it's not even, <laughs> yeah, it's not even about the money for real. Like I really, uh, you just had to do what you yeah, had to do. Yeah, I, I, I absent money out of everything I do because I'm like, if I have, if I hide, have ideas, I'll never go broke. Like mentality yeah. you know so i've always stuck with that kind of quote. isn't that crazy to think about how yeah, we can two hundred dollars for a hoodie that's what we're getting from chat yeah straight up um, like 200 yo, and i only quick. do like for the limited. culture 200, yeah. 200 for the culture yeah i only do um, limited run yo so we have tiktok live as well can you just give us a shout me do you have a tiktok no i don't have tiktok no you don't mess with but TikTok. y'all could follow my website follow the website just give us a shout out on the tiktok people right here yeah shout out tiktok um and do we let's see half my rent from creature Club. Yeah. are you good okay. yeah said half my rent you don't even want it i mean i guess i guess when it comes down to to california you're like 200 dollars. that's dinner if we live out here so but yeah um we all good yeah just just alive okay for sure for sure um but yeah so also going back into it like what are some what are some common myths about you <laughs> as a person yeah. and as your and and as the profession that you Yeah. Pursue? Uh I mean, I think the most common one for me is like an aggressive person or angry or Really? Something. People think you aggressive? I mean, I have been in the past for sure. Oh, okay. Not like, not not like yeah. physically aggressive, but oh. like, you know, I'm just getting my points across. Yeah, you're just like, "Hey, this is how it is." Yeah, like I, So but I mean, yeah, that's yeah. not. I, th- obviously... I mean, I, I was gonna bring it up. Like, I think we're living in a very sensitive society, so you can't really say too much. But like, it's business too. It's like I mean, people trying to handle business. We got families to feed and all that stuff. So do you like, do you feel like that's just like the direction that's gonna keep going, or do you feel like it's like a pendulum where it's like it goes from, you know, not sensitive at all to overly yeah. sensitive, and it I kind mean, of meets in the middle somewhere. It's so like clouded right now, gray space, like. Who knows if people are really sensitive or not? Like you could say something to them to their face, but they'll cry about it later. You know. How do you feel about like people responded more towards like negativity than they do positivity a lot of the times? They like, like negative like, people. I mean, because like you think about it, if you click on, if you go to your YouTube right now, yeah. and and there's something like oh, you know, da 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 headlines and you know five hundred thousand yeah. dollars versus like you know I help someone today like you know which one's gonna get the most of the clicks from why it's oh like, yeah do, like do, i mean do, do, it's do, always the ne- it's always the negative i mean do I, you, I do it in my real life like yeah i could open up twitter and see a bunch like five bad tweets but people don't know right now i'm just feeding a homeless person like literally yesterday like i, I hate to bring that up but that's something like yeah. i did you know what i'm saying like yeah i seen the lady outside she, she was like, had her crumble money in her hand. I'm like, man, I'm about to just pay for a meal. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Just out of the kindness of my heart. Like, you know, it's it like, have to be stuff, posted on it doesn't have, yeah. Like, like yeah. my toy drive, same thing. Like, I didn't post no pictures of me dropping off toys anymore. Well, look, like, it's that's a good thing. Let's hear about your toy drive. Is that, did you already speak about that? No, I didn't even speak about that. But yeah, I did a, a toy drive during my first, first annual toy drive, Mises toy drive. So my first annual in Oakland. I had about like, six boxes full of toys and at one point i was like damn what am i gonna do with all this but like the kindness of people gen- donating toys you know just just to make a kid's christmas is like all the joy to me for real because you know like i said they're they're our future and oakland is not very like you know it's it's a cultured spot but also it's like separated by gentrification as well like mm-hmm. i'm sure those kids in downtown nice apartments are having a great christmas but the kids in the streets like you know, I'll try and cater that, yeah. cater that, you know, stuff. So, do you, do you not like to talk about that stuff because you just don't feel like you just don't want to be associated with like you trying to 
like cloud chase because at the, no, at the, I mean, at the end of the, it, even it's not even a cloud chase this uh, is yeah. like literally just what i do it's like off the off you know i'm just a generous ass but see person but real. see but see you're a leader now right because you're going to the school you're teaching yeah. you're you're doing the stuff online and everything so you, you doing that do you also think about maybe posting more of that because you're leading by example saying yeah, like, yeah. Hey, no I, I was i was literally gonna go into the yeah you saying you said it like leading for leading yeah. leading by example is like literally that because it's not like again it's not enough of people doing that i like i really like not to call anybody out but like i don't see like your their favorite rappers or you know athletes doing i mean they do stuff but like are they really like impacting or being around the community yeah you know i'm i wake up and be around it every day so it's like a different version of what they see for real so they you, got money too do you yeah. feel like that's more important to it do you think because like, every, anybody can go and go donate a hundred thousand dollars or, oh, for or sure. half a million dollars for one day yeah. right and that, that's life-changing yeah. of course but yeah. do you think that's more impactful or do you think it's more impactful like you said the day in the day out the micro transactions the micro moments yeah i kindness? mean it's, it's equal balance i mean um yeah like for me it's like I, I don't even think about my micros like giving somebody 10 bucks or five bucks or whatever or like don't give my you know one of my uh, people i know that's homeless like a hoodie or something like that's literally like kind of what I've evolved into. Like if I had, not if I had, but like when it, the times available, when I have like a hundred thousand to spend on just like feed the streets hoodies, like feed the streets, and I'm just you know feed like feed as many people as I can within that uh, block radius, then I could do that. But for now, I just try and keep it small and just figure out like avenues to make it work, especially like the school stuff and like you know just being regular person trying to be on their level, same playing field. I think with the internet, it's like so disconnected because you're not really actually seeing it. So what advice do you have for someone that's trying to be more charitable in their community? Like, for example, if I don't, if I'm not knowledgeable with yeah. a teacher to school, if I don't have money to spend on people, yeah. like what, are, what are some other ideas or what are, what advice do you have for people to get involved? I think like maybe going to the city, like for real, just like getting your points across of what actually should be changing and stuff. I mean, we're always going to demand that stuff. I mean, I feel like we've seen it during COVID. Like, we had Black Lives Matter and all the movements and stuff. But then again, I said this in my short film. I'm like, where do we get to a point where it's like, what do we do now? Like, we don't got no solutions for that. Like, of course, it's like, we don't have the leaders that we used to have. So it's not a leader that's like, we could go to and just be like, oh, how do we do this? But like, if you want to actually make impact, you should like take the steps forward because I feel like a lot of people go on the internet and be like, oh, we're going to make this aware, uh, something aware. There's another war going in, in this country, but you've never been to that country. Like I've been to those places type thing, you know, like I, if I, if I'm able to, I would go to Ukraine and, you know, get photos of that. Not just, just on, just on some whim, like me and, my homie Mark were actually talking about, I was like, damn, when would it be a good time to actually go in there? You know? That'd be crazy, and I've already seen though. photographers, yeah. you know, doing yeah. it. So that'd be crazy. What's, yeah. uh, I mean, I guess what's holding you back from doing that? Nothing really. No, I yeah. mean, right now, I mean, obviously, yeah. Uh, personal stuff, but yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, but like the, the fear of being in a war zone doesn't. Oh, no, no, hell no. I, I think that's like a general risk, like for real. I've never done it, but yeah. Uh, I mean, if, if it happens, yeah, it happens. It happens. It's like in our time period, like I'm down to just yeah. figure it like, you know, Banksy. I've seen Banksy out there doing his paintings. Uh, of course, he has a team of people, but yeah, you're That's taking, crazy. you're putting your life on the uh, on the line too. But yeah, I've traveled so much in the countries and I feel like Mark is a great person. He's a good, uh, dope ass explorer from the Bay too. So <clears throat> he's like a, a perfect person to just like match up with and just be like, bro, we're just going to, you know, take our own trip there document i mean i've seen like a, a recent article on that like 74 percent of the photos from uh, in times were freelance photographers and it was like four people that worked at new york times you know so it's like interesting to see that th these times like how storytelling is being told especially like during covid and black lives matter like uh it was a pivotal moment for people to reach out to black photographers because we were telling those stories <clears throat> like on the front line so so it, did a lot of this stuff, is, is that what inspired you to do the short film? Or was it like you always knew you wanted to do the short film and it's just a matter of the right pieces falling into place? No, nah, um, it was Anastasio who brought it up. Like he's a, yeah. you know, amazing director and colorist and, and you know, just all around for, for good freelance, good friend. So he brought the idea up to me and um, I was like, bro, it's like a perfect time, you know, just like around this bike community and 
there's nobody outside, so it's just us riding bikes, and you know I can still do my photography. I've been doing my photography, just staying con- you know time period consistent or whatever in that time period. And we, I guess we just wanted, it was a perfect time to just show that light and be creative at that point too. I didn't see anything like, I still haven't seen anything shot like it or, you know, just the story of it. So what, what was kind of your, uh, well, first of all, where can people watch it? Yeah. Yeah. They, they can go on my website. Yeah. 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 But, um, it's called I am O'Mees and it's a, it's a five minute it's a bio thing, like, documentary. Yeah. Or? Like a, like a five minute, like peek into my life, like, uh, in COVID during COVID and during these these mm, crazy times. I and, remember those crazy times. Yeah, so... Um, Street takeovers. Yeah. Bridge and, like, <laughs> the Bay is, like, it's an interesting place because you're, you're, it's the only place you're going to see a, a hundred kids on the Bay Bridge, like, riding across it, like, and cars honking at them. you guys get permission? Them. No. And <laughs> that's what's so tight about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, for well, a place you, like that, on, you got to come you, see it. How do you plan... Something like that. If you could get, I'm I'm gonna shout out Lamar, designer Lamar. Like he's what? just a young kid, and he's just, just right. It out. Hey, we're gonna meet here, bro. Like it, and like you know, like his influence and just how he does is crazy. It's like he just don't. They don't care. I mean, as a collective, they don't care. But him, yeah. he'll do it by himself at night, and like you know, what I'm saying like Word. nothing. So we got someone in the chat. Battle bag ant twelve. He said, "Oh yeah, that's my little bro. Yeah, shout little out little bro ant." Little bro, and yeah, there we go. That's my Welcome youngest. That's my podcast. youngest one on my team. So you, so we got a, a bike collective, you know. Yeah, so. bike life. Yeah, a bunch of youngins. They be going go. crazy. Uh, go. Gio was on my on the billboard with me. So that was the other kid featured mm-hmm. on the, the Apple billboard. On the Apple billboard. But, you know, we talk about that yet? No, we didn't even get into that. Let's talk about the Apple billboard yeah. with bike life. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, crazy story. I was coming back from Texas, and. Like, I was hella tired, bro. I was like, I didn't even want to do it, bro. Like, I was like, bro, I can't even. I told my, my homie who was for t- uh, doing the photo for it, um, shout out to Kamal. I am Kamal X. Um, I was like, bro, like, I just got back from from there. I t- and at the time, um, I had to go all the way to Pittsburgh to grab my bike. So I went all to Pittsburgh and then came back to Oakland. And then he had, he had pulled out his iPhone. I'm like, he at first he couldn't even tell me what it was for, so I didn't even know what it was gonna transpire into. He just had an iPhone, and at first I was gonna do it with me and my brother, but he, you know he's the busiest person ever because he's like influencer, content creator, pro skater, all that, whatever. <laughs> all the tags you he's, made. <laughs> he, yeah, I, I basically had to go get a budget for him or whatever. But nah, um, so I, yeah, I just hit up Gio, and then uh, me and him ended up pulling up and. You know, it turned into a billboard commercial and I uh Instagram posts. What's that feeling like? Bro, it was crazy. I, I like I didn't think it was gonna be all of that was. Like seeing the commercial after uh Super Bowl, I believe. It like aired after. And like a bunch of T V shows like Snowfall and all, you know, um the NBA games and stuff. But then you hear the song and you're like, damn, I you know, I was in this commercial. What uh, did they air? Uh when when What no, what what aired? Uh, the the so they had the it's called the home it's called hometown the uh, Apple series that they did for uh, it's a campaign right yeah Black Black, uh, uh, Black History Month okay uh, 2021 uh, in February during mm-hmm, that time mm-hmm. so February March and uh, so yeah the commercials were the ones that first pop up like that was the first thing I I seen like initially and then like the Instagram post came and uh, they had like 32 photographers do. Uh, Photos all around like Chicago, Oakland, Philly, like New York. It was it was all over. It was like a big ass like you know yeah. big c- campaign. Yeah. And um, but like out of like ten images for the commercials, like one of me and Gio's uh was the one that popped up. And come on, you know like him shooting it. <clears throat> it's just a black and white photo of both of us in a Willie, but yeah. it tells such a deep story too to me. Like yeah. he's my younger homie at the time. He's fifteen, and I, you know I'm I'm my age. So like, and this is like somebody I see every day. He's just, small little you know little homie but he you know he didn't have his uh social security at the time i'm, I'm putting all of his business out but uh <laughs> he didn't have a social security at the time or whatever uh right. but like luckily i have a business you know like i have a, a, a llc to where so you hired him yeah i basically hired him awesome. at 15 so go. i was able to write him a check and then you know cash him out so like he's 15 years old and he getting like 
I don't even want to say that amount, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he got, he's getting paid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From that campaign. From that campaign. Like, or is it beyond that campaign? Any deals, partnerships, affiliations? I mean, we, we uh, like right now, like, uh, uh, they're sponsored by Cookies and, you know, like, uh, Casa Nachos and Hemp 2 So, like. Yeah, shout out Cookies, man. You know, like, it's cool to see that. Because, like, I remember when sponsorships were hella big, like. You know, matter of fact, Cookies is sponsoring this Yeah, podcast, see, so. so. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Cookies, though. Yeah. They're like, bruh. They, like if it wasn't for they them, I, they, got, yeah. I, 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 they got some shit coming. Yeah, we're gonna, so. we have to change this to from CJLA to CJBA Bay Area. Bay we got area. all the culture creeping in here yeah. from the sponsors to so. the. No, the it's it's, it's hella you know deep. So, but like roots run deep. Yeah, just yes. just to end it with like like them. Like that's a, just another group of youngins that I you know, this they're just like hella motivating and it, it, you know. With the photography and everything, it's just like anytime we have a shoot or something, we do a lot of content for uh, content again for uh, cookies. <laughs> but um, see, I mean, like, how would you describe? We do a lot of what photos or video. I guess you would. I mean, if you don't, if you don't want to wrap it up into that whole. Yeah, I mean, know. I mean, it's like, like it's yeah. just like sponsorship. It's, it's just, just it is what it is. It's just content. We're just, yeah. we're, just con- we're just content creators. Just accept it. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I, said, <laughs> I have to accept it. But <laughs> you know, like get yeah, in, in the groove of you know. Uh, Working with businesses and you know having a sponsor, so that shit's tight. Creature collector. When we say cookies, SF, we don't mean cookies that you eat. We oh mean yeah, no. Cookies, cookies SF, SF, the clothing, the clothing, and, and that you and the merch. Enjoy, 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 enjoy with other, other, other senses. Yeah, yeah. Cookies, so merch. But yeah, shout cookies, out, merch, yeah, shout yeah. out to to all the homies over there for real. Yeah. Um. Who? Okay, that's another good question. Who do? You, so you worked with some big names, like we yeah. talked about, right? Mm-hmm. All the, everything we just mentioned. Who do you hope to work with? What are some of your some, mm, some people you would, some brands or people you would love to work with in the next few years i think i think in the next few years probably brands wise like uh ma lee dior i think i'm selling it correctly but it's a clothing brand uh, in new york like i love their stuff so like them so, so. <clears throat> them like kid super um these are like clothing brands i'm like it's kind of in the fashion but not really yeah, like i yeah. think i could dress but whatever you know what uh, nike of course what 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 about fashion drives you to that though is it because you can literally like the, the fashion tells the story and then you could just kind of put oh, that yeah, wherever yeah. you want to i mean virgil is like a huge impact for like uh you know our community and stuff so like seeing his impact was like damn bro like he really did it i mean even kanye too i mean i hate to not hate to bring him up but you know these he's are very influential people in our, yeah, you know, yeah. He, he has a lot of influence on a lot of so, controversy. Yeah, like, definitely, uh, I don't see myself as them or nothing like being super no. fashion icon, but like yeah. working with with brands that you know, like those two brands for sure. Like I wear them. Barriers too is like another brand that I hella support. They just you know, they're good at um telling our uh, the African American story like on hoodies, you know. So like they have like a Tupac hoodie or. Uh, Angela Davis and you know uh, Maya Angelou, Rosa Parks. Like I got all these hoodies. You feel me? Uh, Mansa Musa. So um, it's a lot of people. A lot of stuff that you know history and time wanted to bury, but they're bringing it into the you know our times now. So I think that's like hella dope of a way to approach. Again, like having an ethos and a backstory to something is um is always good. Like with brands and you know I like for me it's like I. I see your brand and I just want to tell better stories, not better stories, but I just want to add in to, you know, creating cool stories around it. Elevate their existing story. Or or open them, open other communities up to it, you know? Yeah. Like not everybody knows who like Banksy is or a cause or any of these artists. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could go down the list. I mean, it's like a small pocket of people that in my age range, like the 91, 92, 93 babies, like they'll understand like, you know, very very small niche. That '90s kid niche, yeah. Definitely. Um, did you did you have another segment you wanted to pull up cash, or should we uh, look at yeah, the future? Yeah, we have uh, we got a little trivia we want to go over with you. All right. Yep. Let's get it. It's uh based on our last no, not our last one of our motion control pieces. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's just a little trivia. Did you win a cup? Oh yeah. That you're drinking out of. I like these cups. That's Cinema Junkies cup. You can win it if you guess the num- num- number amount of cuts in this sequence. All right. Let's pull it up. Tokyo deal coming up. Man. Thanks. Thanks.
Sick, that would be like. I mean, I guess 1917 was like your. Yeah, but. I mean. Which one? Three big shots. Yeah. And then oh, in 1917? Spice, them, yeah. spice those two together? Okay. That's cool. Yeah, that'd be I crazy. Mean, yeah, like. Yeah, as, as low as like five shots for real. I mean, it'd be crazy. cool to creatively stitch them together. Is my yeah. is I think that's yeah. what you're saying. I mean, yeah. just like how we did there, like we yeah. connected two cuts by uh, not only away. that. Well, I mean, that was kind of a no, no, no. I'm saying not only that. I'm saying four, four. We had four people or three people direct this piece. There's not. This is not one director. Oh yeah, true. You know, like there's Mike's directing a segment, oh, yeah. and then I'm taking over a segment, and then Zach's taking over a segment. I don't know if Mason, um, oh, he left, but uh, yeah, I think he was just acting. Yeah, I mean, we definitely got our SAG credits up on that one for show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of good stuff on there for sure. Um, and then that's just kind of the beauty of emotion control. Is like, again, we were able to seamlessly cut all those things together because the camera movement doesn't change. Yeah. So as long as the lighting is consistent. Oh, looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks as like long as lighting. The amount of cuts we want to um, ask or answer creature collector was four. Is four. That official? Four. 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 We'll put it in Down the chat as cuts. well. That's pretty good, though. Uh, yeah, so really, really good stuff. So, I mean, outside of that, though, I mean, I think we covered pretty much any, uh, pretty much everything at this point. I definitely want to kind of look ahead for what is next for you. I know we talked a little yeah. bit about that as well, but what what else? What what did we miss? What is there? There's, there's some things about these that the people need to know that we did not mm -hmm. cover today so far. I mean, I'm always working on something, so it's like it's never. I feel like it doesn't stop. <laughs> but. <laughs> He's always working, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always working. I just, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out what I want to do next for real. Like, um, I, I thought about career changes. Like, oh, what if I just wake up and just want to do something hella regular? A job? Like, literally a job. Like, 
do you think you would be happy? Because I'm, I'm no, I wouldn't. I would be. Glasses, I'm, I would I'm, be hella miserable. Yeah, I'm squinting at you right now. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> I like, really anybody that chooses to not do their creative thing and wants to do something regular, is I just feel like miserable. you die a little faster, faster yeah. every day. You're not. And I see miserable people all the time, and I'm like, bro, I do not want to. It doesn't like matter that. how much money you make, bro. It doesn't matter. You know, I've been. I, I, I'm not even gonna get too too deep into it, but I've been around like some hella depressed people, and they're like, bro, if With I money? had. You, Bro, what? If I had your bag, like, I would not be... Yeah, that's what we all say. Yeah, that's what we yeah. all say. But, I mean, even for me, it's like, I get it back tomorrow, my problem's still going to be there. Yeah. Or yeah. worse. But even worse. People Because gonna, people going to be asking me for even more money. Money doesn't change people, it exposes them. Yeah. Mm. Facts. That's say a it. fact, man. Big facts. And I think that was the thing with me. It's like, I'm so well at making my, my life look quality. Like, people have to, like, not saying the audacity, but that you know, you have your people that come and be like, "Oh yeah, can you do this big ass favor for me?" It's like, damn, bro. yeah. Like most yeah, people, I, 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 most I, I people just don't by, think they know better. Yeah, by, the, by the fourteenth time, it's yeah, like, it's like, like yeah, you just accepted it. Like, well, hey, I, I feel what you're saying. Yeah, because I know coming from the Bay Area. Yeah, it's 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 a it's it's like it's pulling the, it's, it's like pulling people's a toddler's tooth out. Like it feels disrespectful. But at the end they of the don't day, understand they the don't value. Know. Yeah, they, they don't, don't know. They don't, they, bro. And that's like I put the whole world yeah. in a general sum of that for real. Because like we are the separate, we are the step out of the box type type of person. You know, like yeah. we're not afraid to take risks. We're not afraid to, like, no. You're gonna tell yeah. us no, like yeah. no. We're gonna do that. You're yeah. tripping. Like yeah. we're yeah, we're gonna do that. I mean, that's just that's just the battle. I mean, we have to literally negotiate yeah. our worth every single every day. single time, but every single yeah, moment of the day. Again, basically. I think we touched on it earlier. Like I was like, I rather, or maybe I might have spoke with you anybody, but I was like, I'd rather much do work for companies than I would for like an individual that's like coming from a, a label that got a little budget, like. Yeah. So not, when we say that though, do you mean like the type of work, like commercial work, or the fact that it's an entity as opposed to not the type of work? It's just that you sure, gotta. Yeah. For artists, I feel like it's hard for them to project what they actually want to do with their like you mm. know their style or career. So mm -hmm. as a, we're always mm -hmm. we have to create for them. Like mm -hmm. and I feel like we have to do that with the general public. Like any type of good idea or anything that we do, we're actually gonna apply and do it. Instead of, they're gonna say it, their idea and never touch that idea, be procrastinated about it. But mm. like for, why do you think that is? Do you think that it's just people generally like not knowing what they want, or the fact that I don't they're think insecure it's not, and then they yeah, want I, I, people it's, to it's reinforce a, it? Yeah, it's a mix of that. I don't think that they're not capable. Like people are very capable. Everybody got the same amount of time, and then I just think it's like a resource thing or like. Yeah, it comes down to resources and networking. Like, how how well is, do you network, or how well do you present yourself in public environments, conversations? Like, I think a lot of people have lost that for real. You know, twenty twenty was, I mean, this past couple of years have been detrimental. But like, yeah, social media, how social is it? Not yeah. really that it's social. Anti social media. Yeah, so <laughs> everybody wants to be by themselves. Like, it's hard to find like good collective. People like, oh, I could look at this group of people doing, you know, working towards something. I feel like that's hella lost. I mean, because I could, you know, again, I, we come from that. Like, when we're on set, it's like family, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's different. It's, you know, yeah. outside of this, like, we're able to work together, you know, in the business realm, too. And, and then, you know. I think also, I, I know for me personally that I, I think I kind of found, like, the corporate of, like, the root of all evil for at least a lot of like issues yeah. in my life yeah. is, is, is like the, the constant, I think we're today's age. We're all like addicted to dopamine. We're yeah. all, we're all addicted to like stimulation. Yep, yep. Right. So that's why it's like those scrolling through social media or doing whatever we do yeah. for that constant just stimulation. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think that's also why I enjoy working on set a yeah. lot of the time is because like we spend 12 hours, multiple days, all this stuff just to really get to that end yeah. goal and achieve that. So it's like, just get a pat on the back. Yeah. From the no, back. and it's literally it's for, just it's actually like, working towards something. It's not yeah. that instant gratification. There's yeah. a lot of instant gra gratification. Well, I mean, in it, when but I feel like when we involve social media, like if you're doing this every day and you're just posting, then you're just that's just that's you just do every day. yeah. Yeah, I you know mean, I like really, like as a creator, you're not gonna make. I mean, you're not making money off that. Like anytime I mean, you post you on, can. I mean, you can't. Yeah, you definitely yeah. can't. Like yeah. there's there's not a way you can't. 
I'm, I'm for me, like, I don't make money off of just posting my, like, I do, but, you know, like, it's different because I'm using my back end on a different, like, angle, you know, but, like, for just, like, on some sharing, like, I, that's literally just for y'all to see, yeah. like, it's a, it's a, it's a peek into a world that nobody's looking at, like, literally, we're giving, we're giving the, we're feeding a them a window, window yeah. of, like, okay, and in an imaginary world, this is probably what it does look like, but if you really come to this shit, this place is messed up, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But I show, like, all levels of that. Like, I show the good and the bad, so. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so, again, so what what, what do you feel is the, kind of the solution there? Like, to, obviously, because social media is not going away. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. mean, literally, like, I think, like, Amazon is coming out yeah. with, like, their form of, like, social, social shorts right, or whatever. Yeah. So, like, it's, it's only going to get more and more. So, yeah. what what do you think mm-hmm. is the, the, the way to kind of get away from that? Do you think that there's going to be more of I don't these, think like, you can't get away from it. Like, I don't, I, no matter how good you are, it's like, you have to be involved somehow because there's an audience there, you know, there's audiences all across all these platforms. So, there's really no escaping from it, like, yeah. but. I think it's just about balance. Yeah, though, too. It's, it's a balance, but in a real aspect it's like dang i really don't got no friends outside of this phone like if people think about how many friends you got for real like can like five like if that if you see them every day like one maybe some people have no friends you know so i i got fourteen thousand followers on my um, on my instagram like i can't call like three of those people damn that's kind of like, crazy to think about huh nine one one. like my phone's on dnd right now so it's like it's, if my phone's on DAD, how how many people in my contact list is, you know, doesn't care about answering their phone or a text message? It gets you, deep, bro. That's kind of crazy though. I mean, and but you're telling me though, like through all the things you do, all the charity stuff you do, and all the all the genuine connections. I know you out there, you yeah. in the streets. Nah, yeah, yeah, I'm literally out there. But like, so like, if there's anyone building connections, you got to be one of them. Yeah. So you telling I mean, me that I, it's still I, the I, case? No, I, I like I've built my resources and connections to a good amount but so that's the answer is getting out there and um, building that organically and at least yeah at least just having that at still. least having like something to present that's like quality you yourself like your personality plays a big role in getting in the doors i feel like that was like my biggest thing is just because i was myself you know i didn't i'm not trying to be nobody yeah. but that you know like i feel like a lot of people are stuck in that they get so attached to social media and what's going on it's like they don't know they don't find time to be themselves yeah they want that that get yeah. famous and it's it's in gra- gra- uh, gratification is yeah and, that, and that's the thing again we got we gotten so used to oh mm-hmm. I'm, I'm hungry yeah get it well, delivered to my yeah, door de- yeah, hey, but exactly. i feel like once you get it i don't know there's it's, no un- there's no unlocking like going like i, I there's no unlocking like not having some type of influence from social media like you can't just it's not just social media though like i said you can't just yeah i mean you can't just erase all that stuff you just learned on social media it's like that's it that's the other this is how people are learning now it's not they're not opening books i mean what's the last time y'all and like you know what's the last time people don't call me out don't call me out no i'm not calling you i'm just saying like you know like (laughs) you know like for the people that are on social media for eight hours a day when's the last time you just read a chapter of a book i've read a book but i've gotten Motivational quotes. Yeah. I mean, that's cool too. <laughs> or like even just like listen to a podcast. Like I think that's uh, a different outlet than yeah. than the internet. Definitely. I think I think it's just like anything though, right? Where you know, ten years ago or whatever, it could be like, okay, you're staring at the T V for too long yeah. now and then it was video games and now it's social media. So there's, media. A, there's always gonna be like a, there's, yeah, there's more distract there's more distractions now. Oh, 100%. Yeah, oh yeah. Hundred percent. Like our 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 brain like uh attention rate is like hella, hella Goldfish. bad, bro. Like yeah. I mean, it's like again for the school. It's like if I if I was a regular teacher, like would they care? No, but like I am made myself who I am, you know. So like that's why I like I apply the fashion and the shoes and stuff like into just how I am because they could relate to it. But that, like if 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 I was dressed like in a suit or khakis, like why, why they would be like looking at me like hella yeah. weird? But I'm teaching y'all photography. But mm-hmm. that how how engaged more engaged would they be? They wouldn't. Like literally, I, I you know, I'm, I'm around them. Like I'm around this age group like all the time, outside of school and in school, and I was one. So but if you was dressed in a suit, I mean, that wouldn't be you either. Right? That wouldn't right? be me either. But yeah. I, I'm just like trying to like you know. So let's let's wrap it up with this. Yeah. Yeah. And 
I want your best advice for that situation. Mm -hmm. How can we come together on a positive note to ensure that everyone is still being hurt yeah. and everyone is still achieving what they need to achieve. Yeah. But like, yeah, like what, 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 what is the best thing that we can do as a culture going forward in your eyes? Just to make sure everyone is heard, but yeah. also making sure everyone's taken it's, care of. It's a, it's a, it's a long list, but it's like not a difficult one. You know, like it's like three points to being a good person, or I guess like just one, just be a good person be resourceful and then like maybe the third like i don't know i like I, yeah. hospitality or something like or yeah, you know like decent human being De i mean it's not that's the thing people think it's hard to be a decent human being but like is it is it really no not really like, can i i think can, you know what's wrong and what's right yeah i see it i see I, I mean it's because i you know like i mean even but like taking pictures it's like you get you get these stories bounced off of you, and like you could tell who's a good person, you could tell who's a negative person. Like I don't. But is that just been on the pictures that you took? You know what I'm saying? Or is that just on the angle or the lighting that you portrayed? That nah, I think it's just like me just having the yeah that bro. Like it's it's hella you, you, weird. You think you capture people's energies with your? Oh yeah, like even if I walk up to a homeless person and they like strike a smile, like they wouldn't have struck a smile if I didn't. Damn. You know. That's deep. It's, I've seen some. I've gotten to be able to be like up close and personal with people. Like so, just real quick, explain to us how you think um, that, like that energy can be captured by your camera. Like I, th um, yeah, I think it's again. It goes back to like me being a, who I am for real. Like I don't think anybody could just like I. I I'll speak for just African Americans in general. I don't think like just anybody could just walk up to it them and just take pictures yeah but, you know since yeah. i'm like i'm not using that as an excuse or anything but like it just adds as like a bonus to get that side of the story because like mm -hmm. and that's how rare it is to me like those stories are kind of hard to capture because not many people are really capturing them you know like it's either uh it's more like a glamorous like shined up you know just make this pretty but like i'm like no nah, i want to see the raw stuff like yeah i want to show y'all like the nitty gritty you know yeah, what it's really like. Any um, before we wrap, before we get to our ending segments. Yeah, you got any horror stories like of taking pictures of people in public? Like anyone chasing I don't have you down? Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, you not. motherfucker, don't take no pictures. No, no, no. I don't have no. like people chasing me. I've had I have stories like I've you know like you. I live in Oakland, so it's like you okay, know, yeah, we you say do, less. you know like yeah, <laughs> I, you know music video. I haven't got robbed or anything like that. Yeah. Like thank God, like you yeah. know for real, like. Really, I, I really think that the city would actually tear the city down if somebody took robbed me for real. Like, I don't think it would be pretty for anybody that did yeah. that. But, you know, I'm not speaking that into this. I don't want nothing. To, I don't want. I don't. You know, I don't want nothing yeah. to happen. But you know, but, like you know, it's just that this. Yeah. This and that. Yeah. Well, horror let, stories. I mean, let's just say you'll get your camera. Yeah. Back. Horror stories. It's like yeah. I, I got the typical like yeah, being in the hood and you know. Yeah. Nothing directly with you. Yeah. No. That's what happens when you you carry a. Uh, or about you that is yeah, yeah, is no. one that yeah, gives like back. I, like even in the times where I was like my life's in straight danger, I was like something's over me, protecting me. Like I could literally hear hear bullets flying past my head, and like I, I feel like it was just bouncing off. Like for real, like it's cr it's crazy, bro. Really. Like I didn't feel like I was in myself at that that moment. Like I feel like somebody else kind of took over that like my spirit or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I just got up out of that situation, like a lot, for real. You said, fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. She was crazy. <laughs> she was hella crazy, bro. But, like, I mean, yeah, even like, as a young went into that. I mean, it's not too nah, late. Yeah, no, I mean, you want bro, to, like, but, I, you know. I, yeah, we don't have to. Like, but, yeah, basically, I was at a video shoot. Yeah. And, you know, somebody came by and did their thing. Mm. And let off, like, I don't know how many rounds. It was, like, crazy. 50, 50 or more. I know. I come from doing music videos with a bunch of Oakland artists. Yeah. Couple city artists. Oh, me and Yoni been in the trenches yeah, for real, like trenches, trenches, yeah, bro. like the projects and, and like in the whole video, nobody pulled out a gun or anything. But you know, like I, we know, you know, what I'm saying like for they us, it's like we're, video, we're yeah, you know, we're comfortable in the chaos. Like I don't know, that's it's not exciting, but it's like comfortable there. You know, that's home. I feel like you just build it that tolerance. Up, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you, it's kind of harder to get shook. Yeah, you feel me? Not for sure. Like. I'm hella opposite of shook. Like I don't, I have no fear in me for nothing for real anymore. 
I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. I would say, uh, kind of going backtracking a little bit too, as well. Put a lot of kindness into the world, but don't yeah. forget to be kind to yourself as yeah, well. Yeah, not always. You know, take care of yourself. I had to um, really evaluate myself uh, last like year for real, because like I yeah I, I did go through like a mental like I didn't go crazy or anything. Let's but, talk you know, about yeah, that real quick health, before we wrap. Mental know? health with with uh, African Americans. Yeah. Minorities. Oh yeah. So uh, us about it. Yeah. I could go hella deep into that too, cause like I had um, Golden Gate Parks like reach out to me and I did an interview. It was like a bunch of us. Give us an, in a nutshell. Um, yeah, like so I just use being out in nature in my photos, taking trauma, self trauma, uh, you know, stuff that I feel like impacted my life. Like hella. value photos, pain, or you know, like losing people and stuff. Like I lost people at a young age, like a bunch of my friends. So you took the photos as a yeah like um, way to like yeah cope, if you see, if you, you like mean? Yeah, or or like, you or you or were representing that coping emotion or yeah I'm, I'm just like um putting you know putting my feelings into like wherever I go like whatever photog yeah. whatever whatever you're capturing yeah whatever right I'm there. capturing or like so, if I see something I'm do just you like, think you're locking in a memory at that time and what you're feeling mm -hmm. as a way of your coping yeah. Like I, I I don't grieve too much, so like I don't know. It's not like a heartless thing where it's like, oh damn, this person passed away. But it's like um, when my grandma passed away, I buried her, and I, the the same day I went to like do a podcast, and like they I didn't show no emotion, like you know, like I just got that was just like something I was already do you think you trained went, into just working through it. You vent? Do you vent later? yeah yourself. hell yeah like i i you know like, Why, do you think you have a shield up to not show pain to people and you want to do it by yourself yeah I, th I think that's like i think that's like all of us like yeah. Yeah, being a man you know like first and foremost like i you know like i'm a whole man like i don't want to try and act like i'm something yeah. that i'm not but like yeah like we're, we're we're not vulnerable to show our feelings we're just like Oh, this is what we do. Like we we could go to war if, to right now, you know. Like that's where I still come from. Like that war mentality. It's like not like vicious to anybody else or anything. But like, yeah, I just wake up like I'm about to go to war every day, type. Yeah. You know, stay so, dangerous. Yeah, cause like, we, again, like it goes back to that sensitivity thing. Like I would never want somebody to be like, oh, you're this and that. Like, no, nah, you can never say that, cause you would never say that to my face, and and you know, and and uh, in the beginning. So like. Nobody, I, I don't want to make anybody be able to have anybody say anything about me for real. So, like, I'll be dead serious. Like, I'll look somebody in their eye. Like, yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you, yeah, it's not true. Or, you know. I think having that, um, I don't even know what to compare it to, but, like, having, having like you said, that staying ready and staying, yeah. you know, staying vigilant and everything like that, but mm -hmm. also, like, again, walking with grace yeah. at the same time. Well, always. Like, like yeah, you know, like, try and be as humble as I possibly can. And going back to, like, mental health and stuff, it's like, I had to tell myself like you've accomplished a lot like you you know people have told me that I wasn't I was going to be in jail by the time I was 18 you know so like yeah. coming from that it's like I use that as motivation stuff so like that but affirmations for you affirmations yeah, like sure. and if you know for my kids watching too it's like you guys are young and your parents are not going to understand everything that you're doing because you're already advanced at it like there's a lot of things that you can hide from them that they would never know but if you showed them like uh, Robin Hood or Acorn or NFT or the value of how much you shoot if you buy it at 150 and you can sell for a thousand dollars like if they understood it and they're, they're business savvy or they actually this goes back to our kids like yeah. if you have a brilliant kid like I know I have a brilliant kid because I'm I like a brilliant person so it's it's just you know everybody in my family is like pretty much passed down like everybody in my family is like super elite for real so having my own child it's like I want to just be able to have them have their imagination and be free. So I, I keep that mentality too. It's like for myself on a mental level, it's like I, I'm a reflect my, my child's a ref, can see like, Oh yeah. It's you a, know, it's, it's a, a reflection. It's a mirror. Like, yeah. so I try and do like, mm -hmm. yeah, I try and amplify that my more. My kids is crazy, yeah. bro. I'm yeah. like, damn. Yeah. And it, it's like, I know hella people to where it's like, Oh, you're that's, that's Mises daughter. You know, like, you know, stuff like that. I just think that the value of that is pretty cool because my daughter's going to be like, who are these people? But like not knowing that, you know. The legacy you built. Yeah, the legacy is like crazy depth. So, yeah. That's literally what I want to leave behind with my art and all that stuff. Like, 
whoever finds my hard drives. I mean, there's two people in the world that have my hard drive uh, password. So that's it's so like my mom and my brother. So that's yeah, up. yeah, like yeah, you gonna put it in a time capsule? <laughs> Uh, I mean, all of it is in a yeah. time capsule. You yeah. just go back to whatever time you want to go see, and then, you know, got an array of images from that time. That's why I say, like, I might as well just do my own history book for real, like the 10 years of the Bay Area, you know? That's cool. Yeah. That'd probably, be, that'd probably sell. Yeah. 10 years. Like of all artists and yeah. 10 photo, years of the yeah. photos of then and 2000, whatever, and mm-hmm. 2011 to 2023. 2015 to 2025. Yeah. Any, uh, yeah, two more years. Oh, 20, to, to whatever, 2023, yeah. 2015 to 2025, you re- pre- release oh, it yeah, in yeah. 2025. Yeah. And it'll be 10 years. So yeah. Good. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Sell it for. So. I'm over 10 years deep, too. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's, I it's, think it's, this is probably my 11th year, I think. As a, like, it's pretty creative. trippy. Yeah. I didn't think I'd be doing this. Cheers to yeah, the next man. 10. I never, I never, th- yeah, I never thought I was going to be. This level, I still don't think it. Yeah. I still don't believe it. But yeah, you're congrats doing this every day. Yeah, congrats to us. Yeah, congrats to us. <laughs> <laughs> Where can people find you, Mies? Uh Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, I changed my name to my regular government name, so everybody knows my government name, Omar Lockhart Jones or Omar Mies Lockhart Jones. There you go. There you go. Um, I am Omies. dot com. Vsco. I am Omies. dot Vsco. dot co. Uh. I said my website, yeah, you Twitter. Yeah, I'm, bro, I'm heavy on LinkedIn. Yeah, heavy I be LinkedIn. telling everyone to use it, bro. Like, I've gotten some really cool gigs out there. So yeah, yeah, we definitely have. Uh, we try to definitely open it up to a lot of different stuff. We hit, yeah. we got, we got viral on uh, TikTok the other, the other day. Yeah, and, you know, nah, we definitely I mean, I keep, seeing, uh, I keep seeing the TikTok, more, and you know, yeah. we just been doing our thing, yeah. man. Just yeah. di- diversification. Anyone in the chat, if you got TikTok, go to our TikTok, the Cinema Junkies, Cinema and junkies, TikTok. Out the Across all videos we just posted, and uh, drop a couple comments, yeah. likes, hearts, whatever. I didn't even want. see any Enjoy. of the chat. Uh, just other people in the chat, Crit- creature collector. Uh, a what's, couple couple people an, drop through. What's as an well. attention span? You don't know what yeah. attention span is? No, no, they're they're basically just saying like because it's so short nowadays, it oh, doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah, what's an attention? Oh, Wait, got what? you, yeah. What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, no, no, see, look, I'm like, huh? but uh, no, no, lots Way of <laughs> lots of lots of good gems dropped today yeah, as well. Make you, sure yeah. to give you your uh, your pen for getting one frame oh, yeah. correctly. I'm guessing. No, that hey, <laughs> thank you guys for having me though. Of this course, was like of course. But yeah, go go to all. The uh, the links for oh, for me's over here. Go yeah, check them check out. Me out. Amazing uh, photographers and everything else that you got going on yeah. in your life. Uh, we really appreciate you coming mm-hmm. on. Yeah, thank you. We guys. look forward to the you know future projects that oh, you yeah. have coming. Oh, man, future about? project with y'all. Mm. No, all day, all day. Yes. So Hot. make yes. sure uh, to go check him out. Go check out Cinema Junkies across all platforms as well. If you want to make it easy, it is Linktree slash the Cinema Junkies and our sponsors for today, uh, Improvised Rentals. We had Brown Harmony. We had uh, Coffee Meets Cake. Coffee Meets Cake. Future Filmmakers Future Foundation. Future Filmmaker Foundation. That's also my nonprofit. That oh, um, nice. You know, okay. I would so, love to do what you. Yeah. Same thing. What you're doing. Yeah. Uh, give the the next generation of filmmakers a yeah. platform and a way of just getting in touch with industry creatives. You know that are actually doing this shit with the equipment, with the tools, with the knowledge and experience. Yep. That's hell of important. You know. So. Keep a look out, y'all. Yeah. Go check out everything that we got going on. Check coming out the soon. socials. And uh, yeah, coming soon. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and raid out. Make sure you put the raid message in the chat. Go show some love. But for now, yep, we're going to see you later. Say bye to TikTok, too, as well. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, thank you, TikTok. Thank you, everybody, that tuned into the live today. Thank you to our live audience as well. We'll see you on the next one. Yes, OJ, sir. take us out. Let's go.